Come on. Let's do this. Let's start the goddamn live stream. Are we live? Yes. Start the damn live stream. I don't care. Start the live stream. My name is Bill O'Reilly. Start the fucking live stream. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. I need a new fucking car, man. All right. Got myself a new set of wheels. All right. Okay. I'm going to go with the blue for now. That's fine. Actually, no. Let me create something better. What's with all these patterns, man? Red, blue, hold on. How about green? That. Okay. All right, this looks like a, like a Bosnian flag, kind of. Red, blue. I mean, blue, yellow, white. Um, I don't know. Looks kind of cool, right? It's not bad. Come on, man. It's not bad. I can live with this. I can live with this. This doesn't bother me. Eh. I can live with this. Fucking A. All right, let's do it. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Back. God damn it. Do it. I'm back. Here we go. Oh, you son of a bitch.
Come on! Oh my god, so fucking close. No! No! Motherfucker. Yes, first place. No, 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 no. Motherfucker. No, you won't. First place. You are definitely not making any friends out there. And keep the aggression, because that'll help you get the wins, but just make sure you don't push things too far. Don't worry, Troy Baker. I'm a winner, not a loser. I don't tolerate losing too well. All right, let's fucking do it. Let's go. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, fourteen thousand dollars. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, I unlocked something. I won this. Where are we going next? Troy Baker? We're gonna go to uh, Greece. Kalabapaka! Kalabapaka town! Opa! Kalabapaka town. And the nice! Kalabapaka town! Yes, I so excite. Here we go. Kalababaka. Kalababaka town. Let's go. What the fuck is this? Let's go. Rally raid is a start to finish point to point race through beautiful natural landscapes, which you won't have any time to admire because you'll be inches away from wiping out in a hedge somewhere. Lots of speed, lots of jumps, tight corners and split routes to help break up the pack. Rally raid is as dirt as it gets. Yeah, it's fucking kick ass, man. Let's go. Let's go. 60 frames per second. This is the Xbox Series X. You see, it's Xbox Series X. See? You see? Opa! Very nice. Very nice. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna win this, I know, I just know it, I just know it, I'm a winner, not a loser. 
Come on. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch! Fucker. Yes! Here comes the rain. Fuck the rain. Motherfucker. Come on, man. Ow! I don't want to lose. I don't want to fucking lose. I'm a winner, not a fucking loser. Winning, it's easy. Losing, it's difficult for me. It's fucking difficult. Let's go, motherfuckers. Let's go. Fuck the real-time ray tracing. Let's go. Where are you going, huh? Let's go. Goddamn rain. Fucking rain, man. Some bullshit. No! Come on, man. Let's go! Fuck! Second place. I don't believe this shit. Alright, second place. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, Troy Baker. It's your fault. You said don't push it. But I want to fucking push it. Do you understand? I don't want to be number two. Who the fuck wants to be number two, man? I want to be number one. Number fucking one. On top of the fucking pyramid. On top of a fucking Mount Everest. Number one. Not number fucking two. Who the fuck remembers number two? They only remember number one. That's what I want. Number one. Let's go. <sighs> no. That's number two. I'm not happy with this shit. I want to be number one. Number one. So, Nolan, speaking of the current crop of racers, did you remember the name of that rookie that you were telling me about the other day? Ace? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, kind of funky name. Gonna be honest, a little jealous. Hey now, man. James is a great, strong name. I really appreciate that, bud. Thank you. Did you know that it's a popular boy's name? It means supplanter or one who follows. You know, in the 17th century Scotland... Are you reading off the internet? <laughs> I, would, I would never. No, I can see your phone. Put it away. You're just reading off the internet. 
Okay. Uh, you're an amazing wealth of information, Nolan. I'm sure people tuned into this to listen to name meanings. Let's talk about cars and racing. All right. I want to finish Calabaca, Calabaca town. I want to finish it. Let's go. I want to go to fucking Greece. Man, I got my Xbox, bro. It's right here, man. I like this little middle button right here. It's fucking cool. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, bro. It's fucking fast. Look at this shit, man. It's like I'm Superman. Goddamn Superman, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Number one! I don't want to hear no fucking number two. Let's go. That's it. Number one. Who the hell remembers number two? Nobody. They don't even fucking talk about them in a newspaper. Number two. Number one. That's what I want to be. Number one. That's it. I gotcha. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hold on. You cocksucker. There you go, motherfucker. Number one. It's 60 FPS, 4K. That's it. Now, nah, fuck the 60 FPS. We want to go 120 FPS. want to be number one. Let's go, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Where is my friend? My friend Dimitri. My friend Dimitri, man. He would have loved this, to see this. I'm in Greece. Winning! Winning! <clears throat> I'm winning in Kalababaka. I'm winning, Kalababaka. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Canada! Ah! Hijo de puta coño! No! Motherfucker. Let's go. Andre, Andre, let's go, motherfucker. Let's move it! Let's go, number one. That's all I want to fucking hear is number one. Fuck number two. Whoever fucking invented the number two. Fuck that shit. Number one only. Settle down for number two. I don't fucking think so. Number one. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Nah, don't fuck it up now. got this. You got this. No! Cocksucker. Number one! Number one. That's it. You see? You see, Troy Baker? But I tell you, number one. Hey, what's up, LBJ? What's up, man? How you doing? How are you? I got the Xbox Series X right here, brother. Right here. I cannot show you the user interface because if I do, Phil Spencer will 
turn me into his goulash and eat me for dinner. I can't do that. I'm not allowed. I don't have the... Uh, my ranking, it's not as high as I, Justine. I, Justine has the highest rank. He has adopted her at, as his own daughter, pretty much. So she's like his own daughter. So uh, she has the highest rank. I'm like... Uh, uh, like a butler, you know, like a fucking butler. They give me the leftovers, whatever the fuck they have leftovers. And like, you take it, you know. So that's what I'm at. Yeah, the graphics are fucking amazing, dude. Xbox 3. I mean, let, let me tell you something, man. Don't buy PlayStation 5. Don't buy it. Why would you buy PlayStation 5? First of all, it's too big. It's too fucking big. Number two, you don't need it. Do you understand how powerful, how powerful Xbox Series X is? 6900 XT GPU, RDNA 2 is it's in, it's in fucking inside. It's a powerful console, man. The stuff they're going to be able to do with that console... The way the game Scorn is going to look. You know that game Scorn? Did you see the... the Bro. Let me put... Let me give you guys a fucking link. Let me show you what... Uh, let me show you what X Series X can do. Let me show you the state of the art next gen shit here. I want to show you something. I want you to see it, man. Check this out. Yeah, you need a PlayStation 5 too. You're right. I mean, PlayStation 5. Because you got to play. No, you need. Listen. You need two. You need both consoles. You can't just have one over the other. You need both of them. You need both of them. That's $1,000. I don't care. You get, <clears throat> Find $1,000. I don't know. Uh, figure out the way to make $1,000. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> you need both consoles. You need both of them because both consoles have something to offer. <clears throat> I cannot fucking talk. Both consoles, they have something to offer, man. It's fucking amazing, you know? You know what I mean? Both consoles are great. Here, let me show you this. I want you to see this. Hold on. This is a gameplay. This thing is fucking amazing. Look at this. I want to show you this. Look at this. Look at this. Check this out. I want you to check this out. Look at this. That's Xbox Series X. The best. Anyway, let's continue. That's Scorn. Fucking badass game. Scorn. You gotta try to Scorn, man. Fucking badass game, dude. It's like Prometheus meets Aliens. And you're like inside this alien ship and... You got all the shit with you. It's amazing. Like these alien guns and, and these alien creatures are giving birth and they're coming out. It's fucking amazing. You gotta play it. Let's go. Alright, Troy Baker, what are we doing next? Talk to me, man. I did Kalabababaka Town. You want me to do Stampede? Okay, I'll do your fucking Stampede, bro. Ooh, what the hell is this? We've got ourselves another car. Alright. Okay. Hold on. I want a different pattern. I want this one. 
color it's gonna be let's do black 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 and white can we do black and white no, it's got to be blue and yellow cuz I'm representing Bosnia. So it has to be uh blue and blue and yellow. That's it. Yellow. Yes, yellow. Okay. Blue. Has to be blue. And then the other layer is going to be yellow. You see? Bosnian. It's going to be a fucking Bosnian car. That's right. You got to represent Bosnia a little bit, man. I know it's a small country. But it doesn't matter that it's a small country. That country has been through so much history. And people there are the toughest son of a bitches I have ever met. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's go. <sighs> let's go, Troy Baker. Let's go. Hey, what's that sound? Is it thunder? Wrong! It's a stampede, but not of the traditional variety. Uh, snakes? Buff horses? Wrong again! <laughs> <laughs> throwing themselves into a pack of other racers across hard, natural landscapes. Oh, cars. I should have known. That's what this whole series is about, dude. It's all we talk about. Circuits are constructed on rough and often unmarked desert terrain. Look at that real-time ray tracing, man. Look at that. To be tackled. Settle Look at up, that. partner. It's a stampede. This is like Forza Horizon, bro. This is cool. This is fucking cool. LBJ from Greece. Yes, my friend. I won in Greece. I won. Opa! Opa! Hold on. I need to put like a drink on top of my uh, top of my head. Opa! Opa! Very nice. I'm so excited. Mm. Here we go, guys. Let's fucking do this. What's up, Anthony Clayton? My brother, Anthony. Anthony's been uh, following me forever, man, since I started my channel. So uh, nobody touches Anthony. He can say whatever he wants to say. He's been with me forever. Oppa! Ah, uh, but I haven't seen. Where's uh? Jesus Christ! Where is? What happened to him? I kind of miss him, dude. I don't know where. I don't know what happened to him. Ron John. Jesus Christ. Where is Ron John? We got to give credit to Ron John. He was right. He said, eventually, he said, eventually, Microsoft, Xbox, will create the most powerful console. Scorpio is just the first step. They got to give the guy credit. He predicted it. He did say, Scorpio, it's only the first step. The second step is going to be whatever comes next. And whatever comes next was Sirius X. So he was right. I know he's an Xbox fan, but he predicted it, man. You got to give the credit where it's due. I got to give a credit where it's due. The guy predicted it. So it is what it is. All right, let's go. Let's move it. Mr. Urban World, how you doing? <sighs> Formula One 2020 free all week on Stata if you haven't tried it. Oh, I have it. I have uh, Formula One. I've been playing it. I have it on Stadia. But I want to play um, Far Cry. Far Cry 5. You guys got to take advantage of Far Cry 5 and Far Cry 4. But uh, uh, I've been playing um, Formula One on Stadia because I bought it. I have it. 
I bought it. I have it. But it's cool that they're giving it uh, for a uh, free weekend. It's kind of nice. Also, this game um, that you're looking at right now, Dirt 5, it's not on Stadia till 2021, which is kind of sad. But the only reason uh, it's not on Stadia, it's because of the special deal that Codemaster has with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. And they don't want Stadia to have it. Uh, and I hate exclusivity. Honestly, this is the part that, 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 that just sickens me. The exclusivity shit. And I know Bill from upstate New York, Bill from StadiaCast would agree with me. Because he doesn't like exclusivity either. We should be able to play these games whatever we want to play them. We shouldn't be limited, okay? But now, because of this exclusive deal with Codemasters, you're not going to see this on Stadia till uh, next year, 2021. Probably spring, spring 2021. Which is sad. Fucking sad. But anyway, it is what it is. So... LBJ, what did I tell you? What did I predict? Moi, this fucking guy, this ugly mug. I predict what? You know what? Just call me a prophet, guys. Just call me a modern prophet. Fuck it. Call me a prophet. Just that's it. Mr. 4K prophet. And that's it. It's all there is to it. It is what it is. I didn't ask to be a prophet. The almighty choose me to be a prophet. It is what it is. Okay, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, I guess. But I predicted this shit. Predicted it. 100%. I said it. They're going to delay Far Cry 6. Anyway, let's go. God damn, I hate... Listen, I hope that I'm wrong. I always wish. I always... Like, sometimes I wake up, I hope I'm wrong. Please, let me be wrong. But it always turns out that I'm right. Anyway, let's go. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stampede. Come on. This game is pretty cool, man. Come on, come on. Boy! Move on, move on, let's go. Push it, push it through. Let's go, god damn it. Come on, 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 come on! 
I don't want to be number four. I want to be number two. Fuck it, or number one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, look at this asshole. No, 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 no. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I don't want to be number two. I want to be number one! Troy Baker's not going to like it if I'm number two. He wants me to be number one. Go. Oh, you cocksucker. The way he sneaked in. Like a little weasel. Motherfucker. No. Number one. Fuck number two. Here we go. Yeah, baby. I'm so excited. Excited. <coughs> nice. I'm so nice. Excite! <clears throat> you guys need to buy 6800 XT, man. 6800 XT. Nice! I know he's watching. Neil Cockman. Neil Cockman. Gullible Neil Cockman. Cockman. <clears throat> Cyberpunk. Yeah. I don't know if you want to pre order it right now, dude. Wait till uh, the first week of December, dude. Don't buy it. Don't buy it now, man. Don't do it. 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 Why don't do it? Because this ugly mug over here. Went to the future and came back. So don't do it, man. Wait till the first week of December. Okay? And see what they say. Don't buy it. Don't put your money right now, dude. That's easy. Putting money down is fucking easy. That special edition is not going to go anywhere. You don't want to put your money down right now. Don't do it. Wait. Wait. First week of December. <clears throat> Why do you want to wait the first week of December? Because, because, they might delay it again till January, January, January 20th, January 20th. Yeah, wait till it's 100%, man. Far Cry 6 has been delayed. A lot of shits has been delaying. Um, so, it's easy to drop money, that's, pfft. you can always drop your money, big deal, right? If you have money, you can always drop that shit, but, 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 they're having problems, man, guys, um, they're having some problems, they're having some problems, uh, with, trying to bring all these uh, versions they got too many versions they have to bring out the PC version for Nvidia new graphics cards PC version for uh, 6000 AMD RDN and A2 graphics cards uh, the new processor chip uh, Ryzen 5000 they have console versions of next generation Xbox Series X PlayStation 5 they've got Stadia they got too many uh, versions that they have to polish up and put out there. And they have to test. So I don't know if they can make it. I don't know if CD Projekt can make it till, till December. If they can do it till December 10th, then that's awesome. That's like perfecto mundo. That's excelencia. Fine. Great. Awesome. But... I don't know, man. I don't know if they can do it. It's a 
better to wait, man. Better to wait. Once it go, once it goes like gold ready to ship, that's it. Once they get uh, everything ready to ship, the disk and everything, putting it to the server, that's it. It's done. Then you know you got your game. It's all good, you know. But right now, it's just wait. <clears throat> What's up, green tea? Cheers from Europe, man. Europe. Cheers. Europa. Europa. Mm. It's probably very late over there. What? 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock at night? 11 o'clock at night? It's very late. Yeah, it's late in Europe right now. And in Russia, it's like, what? 12 o'clock. All right, so let's do this. Uh, Troy Baker doesn't want me to wait. Why do I mention Troy Baker? Because Troy Baker is in this game. A.K.A. Neil Cuckman, Joel Miller. What? You think I'll let you do this on your own? Hmm? Here we go. We're going to Japan. No, China. Chi China. China. It's China. Not China. No Charlies here. It's China. China. You hear me? It's not China. It's China. Here we go. Ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope you got some sick coilovers because this land rush is gonna wreck your day. Ah, uh, James, I gotta go. I left my sick coilovers at home. Nolan, you're gonna need them. With rough circuits filled with tight turns and technical straights, small jumps that jostle you around, and a couple of big old boys to really test your suspension. Dirt or snow, anything goes. Buckle up, cupcake. This Here we is go. Land rush. Thanks, Buttercup. Weren't you supposed to be gone already? What happened? <laughs> Here we go. China land rush. Are you guys ready? I know I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> China. Let's go, China. Oh, look at the real time ray tracing. Fucking A. Hell yeah. Oh. Let's go. Number one. I don't want to be number two. Real time ray tracing. Yay. All right. You want to see a real time ray tracing? All right. Here you go. Fuck, let's go. <laughs> Real time ray trace. Let's go, baby. This Chang Chang Hong Yang, it's not gonna work for me, man. Chang Yang Yang Fa. I'm coming for you, Chang Chang Yang. Da Chang Hong Fa. That's it. Here we go. 
Got you. <laughs> Shina! Coming for you, Shina! Coming for you. I'm in China. Man, this would look so fucking cool in VR. Why isn't this in VR? <coughs> Answer me, Codemasters. Why isn't this in virtual reality? Answer me. I want some answers. We got this, bro. It's all good. Number one, man. Even in China. Even in China! Even in China! I told you how! Oh! Even in China! I'm number one. Believe that shit? <laughs> what time is it? 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock in Belgium. Nice. That's nice. That's where uh, Jean Claude Van Damme came from, right? Belgium. I am pretty sure he came from Belgium. People say France. Uh, but I heard different. I heard Belgium. Uh, I'm running this at... Uh, let me see. I don't even know what resolution. I gotta look. That's a good question. That's a very good question. I have to check. Que hora? Que hora? Que hora más? Que hora más? Eh. Mira, mira. Que hora más? Eh, pendejo. Que hora más? <laughs> que hora más? Because my internet today. My internet today sucks. My internet is not good today. And I have to, uh, I have to bring it down to 720p. You gotta do it. You gotta do what I gotta do, man. It is what it is. Today, my internet data, my upload speed has been farting a lot. What's up, Derek? How you doing? Oh, look, my spider. It's over here, dude. Hey, buddy. Uh, no. No, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to play. It's a brown spider, man. It's not going to do nothing to you. He's a roach killer. He destroys roaches. Keeping them around, it's fucking cool, man. All right, let's see what resolution I'm running this at. But if you guys want me to do a 1080p, if you want me to do a 1080p, I can I can manage. Oh, it looks amazing in 4K, dude. I might do a like a, a video capture 4K 60. Uh not 4K. Uh yeah, I can do 4K 60. I'll manage. I can do a video of that. <clears throat> How do I like the Dirt 5? It's awesome, dude. It has a pretty cool vibe. It feels like a Horizon. It feels like a Forza Horizon. And it has a nice little podcast that consists of uh, Troy Baker and uh, Nolan North and other guys that you might know from YouTube. Uh, pretty cool, man. Uh, it's, it's a fun, fun game just fun racing game dude i think people but look i also understand why some people don't like it because some people were expecting a full-blown simulation game you know a full-blown simulation racing game unfortunately number five in dirt franchise in dirt franchise it's not about uh simulations maybe dirt six Dirt 6 will be a simulator, but this is more arcade style in a series, you know. 
1080 Ti and get a G-Sync? Uh, yes. Yes, Carlos, you can do that. Any NVIDIA card that supports a G-Sync, yes. Yeah. Meh. Not a problem. You can do it. Even on my Titan X, I can do it. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I don't know if it has that uh, Jim Conner side uh, events. Uh, I haven't got that far yet, but I'm pretty sure they will. Do you guys want me to uh, bump it up to 1080p? How many of you want me to bump to bump it up to 1080p? Uh, you guys want me to uh, jump up to 1080p? I mean, <clears throat> live stream. But you all got to come back, like, really quick. Like, you all got to come back. So, I don't know. You guys let me know. All right, Jay. Thank you for being here. You don't need a display port. You just need a uh, regular HDMI because C10 48-inch already has HDMI 2.1. So, it doesn't matter what output your graphics cards has. It doesn't have to be 2.1. It, you know, it's still, it's going to unlock and process the the G-Sync, the screen tearing. You're not going to see that screen tearing. Uh, but you have to manually, uh, through your PC, you have to turn it on. You got to go to your NVIDIA and then turn it on for both desktop and video. Uh, boy. I don't know. I don't know, man. The thing with Paul is... I haven't talked to him, man. Uh, I just had one conversation with him. Um, it was a brief conversation. Um, I don't think he likes me, dude, to be honest with you. I don't think he likes me, but that's okay. Uh, you know. He probably got some idea about me. He thinks I'm some kind of crazy motherfucker or something. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I don't think he likes me, dude. Uh, just keep checking, dude. Uh, just keep checking, Mr. Urban. Keep checking and see what happens. Keep checking every day, you know, and see see what happens. That's that's honestly the only way you'll be able to get that um, that reserved seat on maximum settings. You have to keep checking every day. Like that's like the only way you're gonna be able to get it. You know. Yeah, I see DX all the time. DX and Scania, DX four and Scania. I see, <clears throat> but him. I left him a couple of messages. Um, he never answered back, so I don't know what the deal is. Um, you know, you know, I can't, I can't make people like me. If he doesn't like me, hey, dude, that's fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. But uh, he should know. I'm not trying to uh, shit on his uh, company. I'm just trying to help, and I believe I've done nothing but help his company. But hey, you know. Whatever, dude. If people don't like me, too fucking bad. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> no, I haven't tried the, the steering wheel. Uh, on the Shield TV. I Honestly, I haven't got a chance to even touch my Shield uh, yet. Uh, I've been so busy, man, with so many things. Working my main job. Uh, busy with the uh, Oculus Quest. Trying this new early access called Venus's. Uh, social media, virtual reality thing. Guys, I've been so damn busy, man. Uh, and I've been busy trolling uh, trolling people on Twitter. I've been doing that as well, obviously. So I've been a busy guy, man. I've been a busy guy. Like, super fucking busy, dude. You know, unbelievably busy. Yeah. But look, man, I... I I like maximum settings, as you know, uh, but I do get this feeling that um, 
like uh, I'm not welcome there. I do get this feeling like he doesn't like me. I don't know because the way I am, off the cuff, you know, no filter. Maybe he doesn't like that that I'm off the filter. I don't know, but I'm getting that type of a vibe. I'm getting that type of a feeling, you know, and that's fine by me, you know, whatever. You know. I cannot tell you that. That's confidential, man. Sorry. Sorry, Mart. I wish I could, but I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. <clears throat> and it's nothing what you have heard. Okay, I'm not a mall cop. I'm not a mall security. I'm not none of this shit you heard out there. Okay, uh, I'm totally something different, but I cannot talk about it. Because the job that I do uh, needs full confidentiality. Okay, so I cannot tell you. And that's as far as I can go. <clears throat> but anyway, and it's a stressful job. You guys have no fucking idea. But I cannot tell you what it is, but it's fucking stressful. But it pays well. How do you think I'm able to afford all this shit? It pays well, but it's fucking stressful, man. It drives me fucking crazy. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. See where we're going to go next. So I finished Kalabaka. I finished Ultra Cross. I finished Stampede. I finished Ziamo. So we're going to go to Africa. Lion's Head. Lion's Head. Lion's Head. Lion's Head. Let's go. Also, for the record, so everybody understands. So everybody understands for the record. I don't talk like this in real life. I don't act like this in real life in front of people. I do it for the YouTube to bring some entertainment to make it more interesting. Obviously, if I was acting this way, they would have fired my ass a long time ago. They would have kicked my fucking ass a long time ago. But I do it because it's YouTube, it's entertainment, and I want to bring some entertainment. I want to bring some high energy. I don't want to be one of those guys doing this, you know. Hi, guys. Make sure to hit the like. Uh, hit the like or subscribe. Hi. I don't want to be one of those fucking guys, okay? So that's why I, I want people to understand I put on a character, all right? And when you see those fake photos of me with a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, it's not real. I mean, anybody... I, I don't know how you guys can tell that it's not real. <laughs> how can you not tell that it's not real? It's a joke. Of course, I don't have it. I mean, what makes you think that Sony and Microsoft would give me a console? The Antarctica would melt first before they would give me PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. The Antarctica would have fucking melted first before I before they would even think about giving me uh, PlayStation 5 and X Series X. I don't know why people, they, they all thought that I have it. <laughs> even my brother, poor brother, thought that I have it. It's like, come on, man. I don't have it. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue. Let somebody ask, um, what resolution am I running this on? I, I think it's 1080p, honestly. But I also think automatically it switched to 4K because the monitor that I'm using, it's a 4K monitor. But the settings are probably set to medium because when I first started this game, Everything was set to automatic, 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 automatic. Um, and uh, this is not a very highly demanding game, even in 4K. It shouldn't be a problem for you to run at 60 FPS at medium. Uh, 
especially if you got an i7 9700K 3.6 uh, CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and Zotac RTX 2060 Super. Like, it shouldn't be a problem for me to run this at, uh, at 4K60. But I'll have a video for you guys. I'll have a 4K footage. So you can see it in a clarity, just like I shown you Watch Dogs, just like I shown you Death Stranding, Horizon Zero Dawn. I will have that video, just like I shown you Flight Simulator. That video probably you'll see it tonight, so you can get a, a good taste of what this looks like in 4K 60, and it's also going to give you some taste on what you can expect to see on Tuesday once you finally get your Xbox Series X. Congratulations! I want to say a congratulation to uh, my brother, my brother from Canada, Toronto. Uh, Jesus Christ, what's going on with me, dude? Um, Cameron D. Cameron D. I want to say congratulations to Cameron D. Because uh, Cameron D. Uh, it's getting his Xbox Series X probably Monday he'll have it. And uh, congratulations to um, Cameron D. I'm so happy for him. If anybody deserves it, it's it's Cameron D. And I'm so happy that he's going to get it. How do I know he's going to get it? Because they already shipped it. They already shipped the console to him. They charged him on his credit card. And uh, the console's being shipped. So congratulations to Cameron D. Man, I'm so happy for you, brother. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, man. Well deserved. Cheers to my brother Cameron D. He's a, he's a great human being. I love him. I love him as a friend. He's a great human being. Anyway, let's continue. Let's go to South Africa. Oh, what is this? A tractor? <laughs> a Jeep? Oh, my God. What kind of a Jeep is this? Um, that's okay Mamba man don't worry about it you can't always catch every stream that I do you know I don't expect everybody to be able to see all of my streams because sometimes you're busy sometimes you got things you gotta do sometimes life takes turns something happens and you gotta attend to the situation at hand no man don't worry about it you know even if you guys are not here, I have my trolls to keep me busy. They keep me entertained. They type all kinds of nonsense, and I have a good time, you know. But today I'm playing with them a little bit. Uh, I don't want them to see the like and dislike ratio, so I'm kind of messing with them a little bit. I'm having a little time, good time, a little bit with them. It's a holiday season. It's time to get jolly, so I'm getting jolly. Oh, Martin, congratulations. Martin's getting a PlayStation uh, this Thursday. Cheers. Well deserved, brother. Cheers. Uh Mamba, are you I know you pre-ordered. Mamba should be getting. Mamba should be getting something, right? Um <clears throat> Yeah! Cheers to Mamba, man. Cheers to Mamba. Cheers to uh, Cameron D. And cheers to Martin for getting a, a PlayStation 5. That's awesome, man. That's great. I'm so happy for you guys. Hey, Mamba, is there any way... Oh, you can't do it because you purchased the... Um... I know you purchased NBA 2K1. But you on the PlayStation... Can you refund it and get the X Series X version? I'll tell you what. If I... i tell you what, man. Mamba. Mamba or Cameron D. If I get... If Microsoft, by some weird chance, gives me some uh, discount codes. If I get any discounts, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. 
or Cameron D for the NBA 2K. If I get it, if they send a, if they send me a, a code, like a discount code or something, I'll, I'll give it to you. Oh, that's great, Mamba. That's great. But either way, if I get any uh, discount, I'll send it to you. Either you or or Cameron D. You guys decide. You know, I mean, which one of you want it? If I get any uh, any discount codes, I'll I'll send it to you so you can get yourself NBA Two K. Because I know how much you love that new generation NBA Two K. So if I get a discount, I'll send it to you via direct message, email, and all that. Uh, you're welcome. I hope they I hope they send me the the discount. I'm gaining a lot of points on the Xbox Live. I got tons of points, so hopefully they'll send me something uh, for a discount. If I get it, I'll, you'll have it. You have it. You can put it down towards uh, NBA 2K21. Uh, All right, let's do this. Let's let's drive. Here we go. Here we go. We're in South Africa. Up and about up. Up and about up. Here we go. Come on. Actually, graphics are not that bad. Oh, this looks great already. Oh my god! Like driving a tractor. Oh! No, we gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. I'm not gonna settle down for this. Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, this looks great. Oh, motherfucker. No. See, I, there's no re rewind here. You cannot rewind. So uh, you have to go back. I'm going to try again. I got to focus because I want to be number one. I don't want to drop down to number two. So let's rewind. Let's start again. Pop, 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 pop. Let's go. All right, let's focus. No more bullshit. Let's focus. What's going on with me, man? Fuck. All right, I think um, I might have a video for you guys tonight. Uh, and I think I should do this video. I was just thinking about this. Um, I'm going to connect my PC with HDMI 2.1 cable to the back of my C10 48-inch uh, OLED. I'm going to connect it. I'm going to utilize the game response mode on, instant game response mode on. I'm going to utilize a G-Sync, and I'm going to show you the G-Sync. And I'm also going to utilize 120 hertz at 4K with high dynamic range. And we're going to use real-time ray tracing 
And we're also going to have um, this MSI afterburner river tuners. We'll see it. So you can see the frame rate and everything. And uh, I'm going to do that video. I'm going to record the video in 4K. It'll be like eight minutes long. I'm going to do that video. And I'll upload that video tonight for you guys to see it. I don't know if I'll be able to to do a quick settings. Maybe I'll be able to squeeze quick settings, what I'm using on the game mode, um, on that video for eight and a half minutes to nine minutes. I can maybe squeeze in uh, to show you my settings and what I'm using. And that way you can see, uh, give you some idea how it looks on the OLED. And maybe also give you some idea on what you can expect to see on your Xbox Series X this coming Tuesday. So I, I'm most likely going to end up doing that for you guys. <clears throat> Well, I'm glad that I'm that I'm helping you with uh, with the English. My English wasn't that good when I came to this country. I sounded like Borat, uh, like a broken Russian. I sounded. But now, after so many years that I've been here, uh, it's impossible. This is natural. I cannot fake this. I cannot act this. This is just natural, because I, you know, been here for so long that uh, it just becomes natural to me. But I also picked up a little bit of that New Yorker thing, you know, because I first came to New York. So a little bit of that New York accent kind of weaseled his way in. Uh, but I am Bosnian. I was born in Bosnia. I, I lived through that war, 92, 95, and then I came here. Sarajevo, you know. <clears throat> Thank you, Martin. Oh my god. Come on. Jesus. This is going to be a tough. This is a tough level, guys. This is going to be tough. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is hell. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Hey, Fast and the Furious, this is how you make a game. Oh, fuck. Is it going to start raining? <clears throat> it's getting dark. Oh, Jesus. No! I can't see shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, man. 
Oh, come on, man. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. This is tough. This is getting tougher and tougher. Oh my god. God damn it! This is tough. This is a tough level, man. Well, you can't you can't win them all. You know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Got some money. Eighty seven thousand. All right. I already did that, Martin. I was playing in the third person mode from the beginning. But on this one, I had to kind of look in the first person mode because uh, it's, it was too dark for me to see what's going on. So I had to kind of get a little bit closer. Let's see what else we got. Again, Greece. Africa will have to wait. What is this? Let's do this one here first. Before we go to Greece again. Let's go to uh, Ultra Cross Dreyer's Gate. I can always go back to... Uh, to Africa later. Can I buy this? Yes, I bought it. Let's create a pattern here. There. There we go. That looks good. And I need another layer. Yeah, we can put a purple here. That's right. That's fine. Um... Yeah, we'll keep it like this. If I'm representing Bosnia, it has to be like this. All right. That's fine. <laughs> no, I just got the regular uh regular version. I didn't get the amplified uh version. Oh yeah, that's a great that that's a good PC, man. Uh 2060 Super with Ryzen 7. Oh yeah. 16 gigs of RAM. You can easily play this game. You can play uh Flight Simulator. Uh you can do a lot of you can play a bunch of games. That's a pretty that's actually a pretty good PC. It's not bad. It's not the greatest PC. It's not the greatest PC, but it's pretty good. 
it's like an entry level premium uh, yeah I go with that all right so we're gonna use this let's go to where is this winter Norway Don't the Valhalla Uncle Aunt Valhalla. There we go. Into Valhalla, <coughs> into Valhalla, into Valhalla. Into Valhalla we go. Valhalla! Valhalla! I think I'm gonna win this. Maybe. Come on, come on. Let's go. Here we go. First place. Keep it like that. Come on, come on. Got it, got it. There you go. You got this, man. Oh, no! Schweiner! Come on, man. Can't lose like this. Can't lose! You got this. It's all good. See? You've got this! Oh, fuck. We're not done yet. For fuck's sake. This is the last lap. Let's go, bro. This is turning into SSX Tricky. You got this, brother. Let's go. Don't lose. Don't even think about losing.
Here we go. It's it. Oh! It's it! Oh, don't fuck it up now, dude. Not right now, dude. Now is not the time to fuck it up. Yeah, baby. First place. Woo. Are oh, you playing a legion? Cool. That's awesome, man. Legion. Uh, I've been trying to get into legion, but uh, I've been just so busy. You know, there's so many games out there. So many things happening. Thank you, Mamba. That uh, it's impossible for me to to play every single one of these games, but I would love to, you know, because there's so much stuff, man. You know, between Oculus Quest and stuff that's there and side quest and whatnot, especially this new service called uh, Venus's uh, Early Access. Then I have this game. Then I got another what you call it, uh, Legion, which I haven't finished yet. Like there's ton, and I still have my um, Deadly Premonition too. And I know Derek, it's waiting patiently, patiently waiting for me to jump into Deadly Premonition too. Uh, there's tons of stuff, man. But and Valhalla, it's coming next Tuesday, which I will have it available on my Ultimate Edition because I have Ubisoft Plus. So automatically, I will have Assassin's Creed Valhalla Ultimate Edition included because I have Ubisoft Plus. It's 15 bucks a month, but hey, you get every single Ubisoft Ultimate Edition game, Gold Edition included, which is freaking awesome. Same thing with the EA Access. You know, you get their Ultimate Edition FIFAs and Maddens and all that jazz. Um... So can't wait to play that next Tuesday. And then, of course, we have on Friday, next Friday, we have Call of Duty. As I like to call it, Call of Booty. We have Call of Booty, uh, Cold War. And uh, that's coming out on Friday. Should be interesting to play that. Oh, shit, man, that sucks. 20 bucks a month. I'll tell you what, even with 20, I think it's worth it. Even with 20, I would say it's worth it because um, you're getting full access of Ubisoft. It's almost like they're giving you their the keys to their warehouse. No, really, it's like they're giving you the keys to their warehouse and everything that they ever made, it's included. It's there. It's there for you. I'm just kind of uh, disappointed that Luna Cloud Gaming Amazon will be the first one to get uh, Uplay Plus. This is why I don't want to purchase uh, Far Cry on Stadia because I know I will be able to access Far Cry and all these other Ubisoft games through Uplay Plus. So that's why I'm not too hesitant to purchase Far Cry, even though I know it's eleven dollars and sale and all that, um, but it kind of sucks that Luna is getting uh, the attention first, and I'm kind of disappointed by Ubisoft because I thought Ubisoft and Google had a great relationship last year. Maybe something happened. Maybe they had a falling out. I don't know, uh, but maybe Amazon, maybe. Um, Jeff Bezos probably made them an offer they couldn't refuse, and that's probably what happened. Jeff Bezos has more money than God, and he made them an offer they couldn't refuse, and they told the Google, well, you guys are not giving us what we want. Amazon is giving us a big, giant duffel bag of cash. So <sighs> we'll have Luna go first with the uh, Uplay Plus. When it's Luna coming out, uh, sometime before Thanksgiving, right? And it's going to be selected people. 
Uh, you have to sign up. I already signed up a long time ago in October. Uh, I think beginning of October I signed up. Am I going to be selected to try Luna? I don't know if I'm going to be selected or not. If I am, fine. If I'm not, so be it. But uh, it should be the beta test, the open beta thing, whatever. Or it's a closed beta, right? Closed beta? Um, it should be sometime by the uh, by the end of this month. R right before Thanksgiving, somewhere around there. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I get selected because I really want to try it, man. I really want to test to see how well it works. But something tells me I won't get selected because I'm not that lucky. I'm just not that lucky, guys. I don't think I'll get selected. Who's going to get selected? Yongya. Yongya will get selected. Even though he hates Cloud, but he will be selected, you know. So let's continue. And thank you, Martin, for being here. I appreciate it, man. I know you got to play uh, Legion. <clears throat> yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. It's always money talks, man. It's all one big money whoring scheme. It always was, it always will be. R root of all evil, man, it's money. You know? People say, but how are you going to live without money? There's a way. You know, I had this idea. I had this idea, man. Uh, this idea... Oh, this is Italy. Ice. Cool. You know, I had this idea, this this idea theory. I said, why do we need money? Why? Why do we need money on the planet we were born in? There has to be another way for us to be productive. Instead of just having this money, monitoring system to keep us productive. I know if you don't have money and everything's free, then no one's going to work, right? But I don't believe in that. I believe that there is another way that we can abolish the money system, monetary system. And here's what I think. Every human being, every and each person. By the way, this is the uh, Joe Rogan headphones. No, these are Joe Rogan headphones, by the way. In case you guys didn't know. These are Joe Rogan's. Uh, uh, Red Band gave it to me. Anyway, his friend Red Band. Thank you. Um, Brian Red Band. So here's what I want to say. Here's what I was thinking. I think there is a way to abolish a monetary system. And all you would need is to let people choose their own passion right we all have passion some people they love cooking and they can be a cook they can prepare meals because that's what they enjoy and in return they will be given a roof over their head a car place to live okay some people they love building stuff some people love building houses some people love landscaping. Every person has a passion. Some people love building cars, fixing cars. Some people love building new technology. I think we all can contribute. 8 billion people on this planet, close to 8 billion. We all can contribute. And we can all live happily. You know, I think this is not impossible. It might seem impossible because we have this uh, secret societies who've been controlling us for centuries, making the monetary systems, uh, been pondering to us. No, you need to go to college. You know, you need you know this, uh, you need to degree. You need to. This is the only way you can make more money. And 
I think there's other ways to end poverty. I think there's other ways to live in clean energy, clean health. You know, we could technically, if we all, 8 billion of us, 8 billion, 8 billion of us would wake up one day and say, hey, you know what? We don't need money. There's other ways we can live. There's other ways we can contribute. This is not impossible. This could happen if we all would wake up. But that's that's fantasy, obviously. You can't even agree with your girlfriend, right? With your wife. You can't even uh, make an agreement, right? Are you going to make an agreement with uh, 8 billion people? It's not going to happen. It's a fantasy. But it's my fantasy that I think it's not too far-fetched. That it's something that could easily be possible. It's not out of the realm of possibility. It could be achievable. But anyway, that's just my theory, my idea. I know you guys are probably laughing at this idea, you know. But hey, I'm just simply saying uh, the money has really hasn't really created anything. As, as a matter of fact, the money has created a bigger gap between people than ever. You got 1% that has all the money, and you got everybody else, 99%, 98%, barely making ends meet. Barely doesn't even know how they're going to make it the next fucking week. You know, uh, there's too much inequality. There's too much of a gap. Uh, and that's that's not going to, that's not good, man. That's not good. That's why you see so much violence. That's why you see so much uh, shit happening around the world. Psychologically, that fucks up a human being. Because what's the idea of a human being? To be happy. Can we all just agree? Everybody wants to be fucking happy. All right? Nobody wants to live unhappy fucking life. Okay? So how do you expect everybody... To be fucking happy if only you have the fucking money and everybody else doesn't stand a fucking chance. You have to be stunningly full of shit to even make a statement like that. And for anybody to make the fucking statement like that. There's too much gap between super wealthy and piss poor majority out there that's barely making it. Barely fucking making it. They don't know how they're going to make it the next fucking week. Let alone the next fucking year. But anyway. That's just me. And uh, it pisses me off, man. It pisses me off that this is never going to change. Not in my lifetime. You know. Maybe a thousand years from now. Who the fuck knows. Uh, may. God willing, thousand years. If if this planet even exists, how about a hundred years from now? Wouldn't that be nice? A hundred years from now, you know. But it's not gonna happen in my lifetime. It's never gonna. No. But anyway, that's that's what I think. All right, let's go to Italy. Let's do this. I don't have enough money. I want to buy a BMW, but I don't have enough money. I need more money, dude. All right, let's go. I think it's just sad that um, that we're living like this. We don't have to live like this, man. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to be.
Oh, come on. I gotta start from the beginning. Hold on. I mean, the graphics are not that bad. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the graphics. It's not that bad. And it's difficult for you to see uh, through 720p, obviously. You guys can really uh, can tell can tell how good and how sharp it looks, but it's not that bad, you know. The one thing that you will appreciate about uh, Dirt Five is the control. The controls are pretty stable, uh, very responsive and active. I have no complaints when it comes to control. Controller. Controls are pretty good. I also like how dynamic weather changes along with the time. Come on. Second place, ah, so be it. No. Damn it. No, 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 no. I don't want to be a third place, man. Come on. No. Oh my god. Fuck. Come on. This is bullshit. Oh, it's fucking bullshit, man. This is bullshit. Oh, this is bull. Nah, no, this is bullshit. I don't fucking believe this shit. How the fuck did they all get so quick, so fast? Ah, oh, man. This kind of shit pisses me off, man. <laughs> Oh, Morocco, Pen Finder. Let's go to uh, Roosevelt Bri Roswell Bridge.
a Roosevelt Bridge. I'll be right back, guys. I just got to take a little break. I'll be right back.
I'm back. <sighs> so where are we at? Well, you got a pretty high resolution. Um, Oculus Quest, it's not really a 4K. Uh, Oculus Quest 2, it's not really a 4K headset. But it's uh, 2.1K. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good resolution for your eyes. Uh, and uh, if you have a good bitrate movie with a upscaled higher resolution then the movie is going to look much cleaner on that big screen hey what's up cameron uh, what's going on today oh uh, well not a whole lot man just been playing um uh, dirt five been playing a dirt five and uh we mentioned you by the way uh we mentioned you and we congratulated you on your Xbox Series X. Uh, you're probably going to be getting it on Monday. I think probably Monday, if you're lucky. Uh, also, we con congratulated Mamba. Mamba should be getting it on Tuesday. Uh, maybe, keep my fingers crossed, maybe both of you get it Monday. Maybe. Keep your fingers crossed. Um, and Martin, Martin got the... Um, PlayStation 5 coming on Thursday. Thursday he's getting a PlayStation 5. So congratulations. Probably Tuesday. It's going to be sitting in the warehouse till Tuesday. Uh, nearby, uh, you know, Amazon shipping. And then they're going to local Amazon warehouse where you at in Rhode Island. And then they're going to, the driver is going to bring it to you. <clears throat> With a Mercedes van. They're using Mercedes. It's pretty cool. Jeff Bezos. Mercedes van, man. Well, he's got money. Oh, PlayStation 5. Well, cheers. Cheers, camera. Well, that's a... Where's my bottle? I left my bottle. Uh, my bottle of water. <laughs> I was going to cheer. That's awesome, dude. So you got two of them. You got it from Best Buy? <laughs> That means UPS. You're gonna get it from UPS then. If it's a if it's a if it's a Best Buy, it's most likely UPS. Well, Mamba, you can go to the. Oh, you mean picking it up at the store? I see. Yeah, you don't want to go to the store to pick it up. Uh, why just let them deliver it to you, right? Let them deliver it to you, and then you pick it up on your doorstep. <laughs> well there you go you got so you're gonna have playstation 5 blu-ray you're gonna have a playstation 5 digital and then you're gonna have uh xbox Series x that's it man you all set brother that's awesome you guys gotta do some videos man i want to see some videos i want you guys to do some videos i want you to do some unboxing and stuff like that and kind of cool to see uh, some of your videos and how you guys do it and all that. So yeah, Mr. Urban, um, the Quest Two. When you, when you are watching a movie. That's recorded at the highest bitrate possible, and that has that 4K resolution cramped into your VR headset. It's still going to look sharp and great. That's because you have uh, 1800 by 1900 resolution per each eye. So it should look very clean and very sharp. There's no question about that. Okay. But the bit rate is the key. If you want to have that sharp detail, the bit rate got to be top notch. Like 80... 80 megabits per second or something like that. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh wait, so so instead of a uh, PlayStation Five, you're getting a digital. Uh, instead of the the Blu-ray version, you're getting a digital. Uh, that's fine. Listen, uh, if you're not gonna be watching Blu-ray movies, go digital. Nothing wrong with that, you know. If you're not gonna be watching, if you already have a 4K player, uh, if you have a 4K player and you're not planning on using another 4K player in another room, uh, then that's good, man. You could try, but uh, here's here's the only way you might be able to get one. Uh, it's by clicking the F5. Uh, keep clicking the F5 so it refreshes the page. Keep clicking the F5 and then hopefully uh, you'll get lucky to go through. Well, there you go. So that that way you don't need uh, you don't need a 4K uh, player. So you're saving yourself a hundred dollars. Whenever you can save money, why not? I mean, especially if you don't need a 4K player. If you already have one, then you're good. I have Oppo. I have Oppo UDP uh, two or three. Uh, so so for me, I'm pretty much all set with the Oppo. Uh, you know. Well, that's good, guys. I'm glad that you guys are going to be enjoying all of that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to enjoy any of that stuff because uh, um, I got some other stuff financially that I have to take care of, so I cannot really be buying anything, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's pretty cool, man, that you guys have your Christmas stuff. I'm happy for you, man. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Play. And do some videos, man. I want to see you guys do some videos. I want to, you know... I want to see your take. <clears throat> I want to see your take on the PlayStation 5, on the X Series X. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on it? You know, I want to hear what you guys have to say. You know, I, because I love watching other people's uh, videos. Sometimes I'm like, hey, I want to see other people's opinions on the subject and how they feel and what they think. You know, when they have it at home, when they connect the console and their their first impressions, you know, stuff like that. You know, I, I like that stuff, man, because that really gives me a pretty good idea on how people feel about the console. You know, that when you plug it in, you boot it up and wow, you know, and, and they get their first impression. So I, I like watching that stuff. That's awesome, man, but I'm definitely going to jump in, man, at night, late at night, or during the day if I can. If I'm not busy, I'll definitely jump in and watch it, man, for sure, 100%. That's awesome, Cameron, dude. That's pretty awesome, dude. You got three years Game Pass Ultimate, 90% off. Dude, you're all set. You pretty much, you don't have to buy any games. You're pretty much all set uh, on the Xbox with that you know <clears throat> well you know there's there's gonna be plenty of opportunities next year uh, there'll be plenty of games coming out next year there's gonna be bundles with a uh, god of war uh, Rangaruk, uh, the bundles with uh, Gran Turismo next holiday season, Gran Turismo 7 bundle, you know, uh, you're going to have Xbox Series X, Halo Infinite bundle, probably like some kind of Master Chief type of a X Series X type of a console next holiday, you know, so there's plenty of opportunities out there uh, for everybody else, you know. <clears throat> All right, so... We got to start. We got to continue this. I 
I still want to do this Italy thing because uh, I need to do better in Italy because I didn't like quite well exceed on my previous previous race. I was like what uh, ninth place didn't work out quite well. So let's do it again. Foci di Giovo, Italy. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to try for the third place if I can. Like third place would be great if I can do a third place. We'll see what I can do. You know, interesting thing about this game, um, as you are progressing through different venues, uh, it gets more harder and harder and difficult. Like, it gets more challenging. But you also have the ability to unlock more powerful cars, uh, much better four-wheel drive type of uh, cars and Jeeps. So... People who are wondering about this game, it's not a simulator, okay? It's a uh, arcade style type of a Forza type of a game. It's not an open world Forza, but it feels like a Forza. Horizon, like Forza Horizon. It definitely has that Forza Horizon vibe to it a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't be comparing this to Forza Horizon. Uh, Xbox fans will get all mad. <laughs> it's an arcade game. You know, don't expect simulator. This is not a simulator. And Codemaster never advertised this game as a simulator. I don't know why everybody on the Steam and on the forums has been saying that this is a simulator. It's not a, it's not a simulator. It's an arcade. And it's good. I mean, controls are great. I have no problems with controls. Uh, they're top-notch, responsive controls. They work really well. Uh, I have no issues. I have no problems with it. It's just fine. <clears throat> Maybe I can make a first place. We'll see. See what I can do. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. How did they get so faster than me? Here we go. Come on. You got this, bro. Third place. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. All right, Cameron D.
I might have to grab some food too, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Third place. Yes, sir. I mean, the Xbox One S, I've tested it on my Vizio M55C2 a long time ago, a few, four years ago. Um, it does it does what it does. Don't expect, like, some wow factor type of a 4K upscale. Uh, but it definitely, it's better than the original Xbox, okay? If you, like, compare the original Xbox One with the Xbox One S, obviously it's better. But you also have to remember, uh, the graphics are not going to look that better than what your Xbox One original is doing. The only difference here is the 4K upscale in HDR. But at the same time, you have to keep a couple of things in mind. Uh, it's a 1080p upscaled to 4K. So it looks, it looks good. But the Xbox One X blows it away, pretty much. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's good, but don't expect too much. That's all I'm trying to say. Don't expect too much. If you really want to like experience 4K and HDR, I would say Xbox One X Project Scorpio. Uh, it's definitely uh, your best choice. Like, at the moment... At the moment, that would be like your best 4K machine to go with. But they don't sell it anymore. Um, so you're pretty much stuck with uh, Sirius X uh, at the moment. Uh, like, I have a Last of the Mohicans. This is the uh, Project Scorpio, the one I have over here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to do a giveaway when I reach a certain amount of subscribers? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, sell it on eBay or I haven't decided yet but I have the original packaging I have the original uh, invoice from Phil Spencer himself and it's a limited edition with a stand vertically uh, Project Scorpio edition and it sits right over here Let's go to Morocco. And then we'll do the uh, Roswell Bridge. You should always go for what you think is the best. For you, personally, you know. I mean, Sirius S, it's not that bad for 300 bucks. You can still do 1440p, uh, you know. You can still get that 120 frames per second and uh, HDR, real-time ray tracing. So you still have, uh, it's still pretty good console for $300, you know. But if you want the best of the best, you know, if you want to go all out and get the best of the best, then you got to go with a Sirius X, obviously. That's like the best of the best. That's like the la creme de la creme. What's this Pathfinder event all about? You gotta be real brave or clinically insane to want to race on these tracks. I think a bit from column A and a dash from column B is ideal. Pathfinder features the most hardcore off-road terrain in the whole dirt off-road series. That's right. It's just you, your custom-built rock crawling machine, on-point navigation skills, and the unforgiving march of Father Time. Father who? Father Time is the personification of time. In recent centuries, he is often depicted as having a beard. James 
You have a beard. Oh my god. Am I? You're always wearing a watch as well. I am Father Time. Behold my power over time itself. What are you doing? Manipulating time itself. Uh, I don't think you are, James. Sorry. <laughs> I think you're just James. Who is this James? I only respond to Father Time <laughs> or his timeliness. Why are you always late? What do you mean? Um, wash your hands. You mean because of uh, COVID-19 situation? Oh, 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 I see what you mean. I was about to say, wash it. I mean, if I can speak subjectively from my own point of view, um, it's not like a necessity. Um, and I'm speaking from my own point of view. It's not a necessity because there's so many choices out there right now for you to choose from. You don't necessarily have to uh, jump on consoles. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the PlayStation 4 Pro. There's nothing wrong with the Xbox One X. They're still 4K machines. They do a 4K resolution. And they do HDR metadata processing. Okay. Of course, they don't have ray tracing. They don't have 120 frames per second. I get that. 120 hertz refresh rate. I'm sorry. Not 120 frames per second. 120 hertz refresh rate. They don't have that. Except that one console, 1440p Xbox One X. Uh, but there's still nothing wrong with them. They, they, they do the job just fine. Uh, and you have choices. You also have a choice to play your games on the cloud like shadow or maximum settings just keep in mind maximum settings it's something that you have to pay an hour so i don't know if that it's worth it to you because by the time you download the game by the time you update you already lost five five dollars whatever six dollars us canadian and then you got to put another twenty dollars so i don't know if it's worth it to you that well that depends on each individual okay I personally am not a fan of paying one dollar an hour I think monthly subscription it's a better option uh, obviously if you want to reach majority of people uh, but it's just my subjective opinion shadow you pay a monthly subscription and you can use shadow you can play all these games on shadow and p5000 quattro it's not a bad card uh, you know it can do a lot of different things and you're not gonna have some shitty graphics with a P5000 Quattro. You're still gonna have a good graphics, okay? But don't expect too much out of Shadow Boost tier. Obviously, once the Shadow gets their different tiers, uh, that's all gonna change. So there's options out there. There's options, and having these options, I think it's a great thing. So. It's not like you are missing out by not having these next generation consoles because Stadia can do what Xbox Series X can do. All they have to do is upgrade their infrastructure, upgrade their servers with much... Uh, what's going to stop... Uh, I mean, honestly, what's going to stop Stadia from upgrading to our DNA to 6000 Series and Ryzen 5000? even though they're running on Linux. But what's going to stop Google? They already have a deal with uh, AMD. They already have a partnership with AMD. What's going to stop them putting uh, 6,000 series RDNA 2 GPUs? What's going to stop them from putting 6,900 XT GPU with a uh, Ryzen 5,000? The, the latest Zen uh, CPU. What's going to stop them? Nothing's going to stop them. And they'll be able to pretty much have your games run at uh, the best possible graphical settings. Optimize at the best possible graphical settings. So, and then on top of that, you got Luna. You got Amazon Luna on top of that as well. 
So, you got GeForce now. You got Amazon Luna. You got Stadia. You got Shadow. You got Maximum Settings. Uh, although, keep in mind, Maximum Settings is still in beta. It's not like a company that you read about in Forbes. It's not a company that it's advertised on IGN and, and GameSpot. It's a small private little company that really hasn't broken the ice okay it's just a small company uh so you have to keep that in mind all right i always tell everybody keep that in mind uh but still you have choice there's choices out there for you to choose from you don't have to necessarily jump into a console you know so it's a good thing that we have these choices having these choices it's good it's a good thing it's not a bad thing and i think uh that's awesome that we have these choices where we can choose. Back in the days, I had to choose. Either A, I get my Sega Genesis or I got to buy this expensive uh, IBM computer with a floppy disk. But, you know, so you had two choices only. Here, got a variety of choices. Much better, easier choices for you to uh, enjoy your gaming. And on top of that, you got Oculus Quest. Quest 2 has amazing experience. Gaming experience, virtual reality gaming experience, all sorts of things. So you have options. You know, so uh, don't feel let down that you're not having your PlayStation 5 or X Series X. Don't, don't feel like you're missing out on something. You really are not missing out that much, uh, honestly. Uh, the Spider-Man doesn't look drastically better than what it looks on PlayStation 4 Pro. You need a magnifying glass to see that difference. Uh, so, you know, you're not missing out, brother. Yeah, Dirt 5 is out uh, on the PC. It was out yesterday. Uh, and um, it's going to be out on Tuesday for everybody else. For the Xbox Series X, will be out on Tuesday. And uh, for the PlayStation 5, will be out on Tuesday as well. And then on Friday, we have Call of Duty. That's what I'm waiting for, Call of Duty. And also on Tuesday, Valhalla. See, I, don't, I hate this. Now I have to choose between Valhalla, Assassin's Creed, and Call of Duty. And I hate when they do this. I just... I think they should have released Valhalla on Halloween to give me like, I don't know, a couple of weeks prior to uh, jumping onto Call of Duty. Uh, but anyway, Call of Duty, I can finish it in about a few hours, the single campaign, and then I can jump into uh, Valhalla again. All right, so let's continue. Let's do this. Hold on. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, where are we going? Oh Lord.
Oh, Jesus, man. This thing is tough. This shit is tough, bro. Jesus. How well did I do? I probably sucked. <sighs> oh, I got some more money. I need to make more money, dude. That's what I need to do. I need to make as much money as hey, possible. That? Events like these, that's what we're after. The big headline grabbing showstoppers. But they don't just let anyone enter. Not even if AJ asks very nicely. So how do I get that golden ticket I hear you ask? Well, my friend, you gotta work your magic elsewhere. You win a race here, you get your reputation there, and generally just do the absolute best you can. Well, how'd that happen? Here I am explaining how it works and there you go, boom, main event. All right, Joel Miller, AKA Troy Baker. This is in China, Land Rush. Let's do uh, Cape Town Stadium. I, we, I haven't done this. Let's do this. Look at this. I got another car. I got a Ford over here. I'll unlock this later. Not right now. I'll do this later. I'm going to go with this for now. If I say Jim Gymkhana, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Donuts. Cars doing donuts. Uh, what's the second thing that comes to mind? Horses uh, not doing donuts. Correct. But you were right the first time. It's all about them hearse purse, baby. Just to be clear, I'm talking about cars, not actual horses. Got it. Drift, jump, and donut your way to success in these custom-built stunt arenas. You need to string together tricks and stunts and post the best score you can in the allotted time. Keep the crowd hyped and don't get motion sick. Yeah, don't mess up the interior. We'll have to hose it out. We're going to charge you. All right, let's do it. Cape Town Stadium. Come on, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, let's go. This is really hard to do on a controller. Oh, for fuck's sake, let's go. Fucking hell. This is tough, dude. You gotta do this again.
Come on, come on. There you go, there you go. Come on. Oh, son of a... Hold on. All right, I guess I did okay. All right, got some money. Some money, 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 honey. Money, 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 money. Okay, let's try... Uh, China land rush Let, let's go to Ro Roswell Bridge let's do that Borat 2 I mean I, I it was okay it felt too politically pressured it felt like uh, it just doesn't work. Here's the problem uh, with Hollywood. When they're trying to push their agenda and their agenda just doesn't execute that well. This is why you never bring politics into movies. Uh, it's just this is what made Hollywood uh, less appealing. Less appealing. Not many people are really appealed to Hollywood now because of, uh, you know, regardless of what your, what your opinions are or, on all these candidates. All these they remember they're all politicians they're all wealthy they're all part of the club and you and I us regular Joes and Marys will never experience that life that they are experiencing okay they got butlers they got secret service they got everybody doing shit for them they wipe their asses they live like kings okay and they're gonna tell you Folks, vote, vote, make it great, and all this other shit. Okay, these people, they never suffered. They, everything was pampered for them. Everything was fucking done for them. They don't know what it's like to struggle in life. And you're supposed to take an advice from somebody like that. It doesn't really fucking matter who they put in there, man. It makes no fucking difference who they put. They're going to put whatever the fuck they choose to put. Uh... But unfortunately, unfortunately, people are brainwashed and uh, they're programmed since since uh, school, since college, since high school. They've been programmed to think certain way, to look at life through certain lens, you know, and it is what it is. I already talked about this. Cam I mean, Cameron, you missed it. You got to watch my be beginning of the other live stream. I talked about this in depth. Uh, you guys all missed it. But because uh, I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to get into this because if I do get into it, I get fucking angry. And you guys don't want me to be angry. I don't want to be angry. But it just pisses me off because I know what's really going on. I don't know if you guys know. You probably don't. It's impossible for you to know because uh, you haven't seen what I have seen. You haven't been approached the way I've been approached. Uh, but I, let me just tell you, these politicians, they're just actors. They don't care about you. They don't give a shit about you. Uh, all they do is act just like all the other actors out there. Okay, they're actors. They act. They lie for living. Simple as that. Why do they lie for living? Because they don't want to lose the lifestyle that they have. 
they don't want to lose what they have. They sold themselves to the devil long fucking time ago. Yes, even your heroes like Dwayne Johnson sold himself to the devil. He's part of the club too. He didn't get that big naturally, my friend. It's juicing. He's experimenting with all kinds of shit. And he's part of the club. And he's got to do what they tell him to do. No offense. I know you like him, Cameron D, but just letting you know. Just letting you know how it works. Truth hurts. Same goes with all these other celebrities. They're all part of the fucking club. Okay, Michael Keaton, Kevin Costner, all these guys, they're part of the club. And they got to say what they got to fucking say. All right, but I don't want to get into this because if I get into this, I get really fucking angry. And I don't want to be angry, you know. But I'm just here. I just don't want to talk about it, you know. I really don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> you guys don't have to agree with me. You are... Feel free to have your opinions. You can tell me, go fuck yourself, Mr. Forky. You don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. You have that right to do that. But I know better. I know better. In my 41 fucking years, I know better. I know what I know. I know what I've seen. And I know what I experienced. No one can change my mind on that. No fucking celebrity, nobody can change my mind on that. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Then I got to eat something, guys. I just don't like talking about this stuff, guys. Earlier I talked about it and I got really fucking mad. I got really got angry because uh, uh, it's just, it pisses me off because there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. And I don't want to talk about something, Mamba, that uh, there's nothing I can do about. You know, it's just wasting oxygen. It's just wasting air. Uh... It, it's it's like banging your head against the wall till it falls off or something like that. It just it does nobody any good, you know. It is what it is. Just live your life, enjoy it as much as you can. Do the best you can to find that small measure of peace. Isolate yourself from bad people. Isolate yourself from bullshit. Isolate yourself from uh, greedy cunts, and try to make the best of it. That's the best I can fucking tell you. But don't expect some magician to come in and fix everything for you, to fix your life, to improve your life. That shit's not going to happen. That's just a fantasy, fantasy, bullshit, bullshit. Okay? So, that's all I got to say about that. But let's move on. Ice. It's smooth, flat, and Oh, cold. we're and driving on ice? Oh, my God. And the depths of the abyss. Also, great in a soda to make it really crisp. Good point. This ice is where we get to see real-time ray tracing, man, right here. These are for drift specialists with sweeping corners and long straights custom built for sweet sideways action. You got to stay cool and keep control on a surface with very little grip. I get it. Cool as in ice. Dude, I told you, stop explaining my jokes. It ruins the effect. All right, here we go. Now we get to see the real-time ray tracing on this ice right here. Here we go. Here we are, folks. Another slice of off-road racing. Right here at the Dirt Off-Road Series. All right, New York. We've got a great race ahead. We're sure to be full of action, thrills, spills. I mean, we can talk about anything other than just politics. I mean, it doesn't have to be maximum settings. It could be Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Uh, but the thing is, you know, politics and, and politicians and, and these actors and Hollywood, I don't like talking about them. I really don't because I know who they are. I know what they are. Uh, you guys don't know, and that's okay. You don't know. Maybe it's better that you don't know, but I do know. I do know, and I know better. So uh, it just boils my blood, makes me fucking angry, and I'm trying not to focus on that, you know. Because <clears throat> what's the point? You stressing out about something you can't control. If I can't control it, if I can't control the outcome, then why should I f fuck up my day 
thinking about some some assholes who have no feelings, have no compassion. They're like robots. They don't give a shit about public. They don't give a shit about people. They lie. They're actors. They only care about themselves and they want to be worshipped. They thrive on worshipping. They want you to worship them. That's it. That's what they feed on. They feed on majority of population worshipping you, them, them, these individuals. They don't care about the money because they print money. They have money. They want worship. They want you to hold them like a demigod, to worship them like a god. Celebrities, politicians, presidents, leaders, etc., etc. That's what they thrive on. And I already talked about this. I don't want to talk about it again. Uh, you want to learn about this? It's out there. Go to Google. Learn. Read books. Learn about the Templars. Learn about the British Empire. Learn about the Vatican. Learn about all this shit. It's all there. It's all there for you to find out how it all started. Okay? Now let's move on. Oh, look at the real-time ray tracing here. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is where the real-time ray tracing works. Big time, right here. Nice. You guys see it? Do you guys see the uh, RTX real time ray tracing? Hold on. There we go. Now you can see it. Let's start from the beginning. Hold on. Let's start from the beginning. I think real-time ray tracing gets overrated. Um, honestly, I think the real-time ray tracing, uh, it's way too overrated. Um, and here's the reason why. Real-time ray tracing works well on... On certain games certain games where it needs to be used but on a game like this where you are racing most of the time you don't have time to stop by and look at the oh reflection here oh reflection there um, so I, I just felt the way they're selling these consoles with this real-time ray tracing gimmick uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a misleading. 
don't get me wrong, on certain games, depending on a developer, depending on the game, it might look great, depending on what type of a game it is. But it's not going to be something that you're going to enjoy on every game. I played it on Mafia, Mafia 1 uh, Remastered, Remake, I'm sorry. It was okay, it was there, but it, I didn't like... If it, if it wasn't there, it wouldn't bother me. It's not like what I'm trying to say, even if I didn't turn on the real-time ray tracing in Mafia, it wouldn't bother me that it wasn't there. Honestly. Because I didn't pay too much attention to the reflection and all that other crap. Because when you're playing a video game, you don't have time to, to stop and look at something. When you are playing a video game, you don't have time to stop and measure your frame rate. Like right now, constantly looking at the frame rate. And if you drop five frame rates, like you're going to notice it immediately. You know? <clears throat> <clears throat> and then you can't really tell that difference. So same thing with the graphics, with resolution. You really can't tell that difference that much, honestly. You know. So um, I feel that this generation was focused more on graphics and a horsepower but they weren't focused on the exclusives. And I think this is the problem that I see with this last dying breed of a hardware consoles and why I believe everything will go to cloud 20, by 2030. Everything will be on the cloud by 2030. It's because the whole point of consoles back in the day was to play certain exclusive games on that console like there was a certain amount of exclusive games like you look at SNES you look at Sega Genesis library you look at uh, Nintendo 64 library you look at Atari library you look at uh, for example the the PlayStation 1 in 1998 library there were certain exclusive games that were only available there and I feel that consoles have disconnected from that long time ago. They have disconnected from that long time ago. That's not the case anymore, in my honest opinion. To me, these consoles are nothing more than a wannabe, wannabes PCs, honestly. And they are going in the PC direction. Slowly but surely, they're going into PC direction. They're wannabes PCs. They're not really consoles, to be honest with you. I mean, just from my own uh, subjective, honest point of view, the way I'm looking at it, you know. But anyway, I got to go eat something really quick. Uh, and then I'll be right back. We'll continue this. I think both me and Cameron, we're both eating at the same time. <laughs> that's why we're brothers but I'll be back I just gotta eat something really quick and uh, we'll continue this don't worry okay
Whew. God damn that pizza, man. Jesus Christ. It's like I was eating a sponge. Jesus. It's like I was eating a sponge, man. Damn it. I should just eat an apple. Apple would have been great for me. That's it, man. I need to live like one of those darvishes. You know, darvishes down uh, in the uh, in Middle East. They just eat a little bit of a bread and the milk, you know. A little bit of apple. That's it. Grapes. <laughs> Anywho. Ah, oh, burger. With, I mean, I would love that, but let me tell you, that burger... The heartburn, that thing would have killed me, man. You know, when I was younger, I was able to eat hamburger. It wouldn't bother me one bit because I would have burned that son of a bitch immediately. Like, whoosh. But now I'm an old geezer. I mean, it is what it is. I'm an old geezer, man. I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older. I'm an old fucking geezer. It is what it is. Uh, that's that's all there is to it. Um. So back in the days, I could eat, uh, you know, kebabs big giant kebabs and all that but now fuck no hell no just give me some uh milk and uh, uh corn flakes and that's it i don't want to tell you how you should live your life mr urban i don't want to tell people that but uh you have to look after your health you gotta remember um first you have to be honest you know do I have any pre-existing condition? Uh, are you a borderline diabetic? Was your did you if your parents were borderline diabetic? The chances are you're gonna catch that. Uh, so you gotta be honest about yourself. You gotta check yourself, see your health, and you gotta be honest and say, hey, do I want to live a good quality life or do I want to live like pleasure eating type of a life? where I'm eating this pleasure food, but I'm going to feel like shit after I eat it. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to tell people what to do, you know, but I'm just simply saying, um, if you, if you discipline yourself, like ask Cameron D, he's pretty good on, uh, on his diet and the exercise. If you, if you condition yourself, and he'll tell you, ask Cameron, I mean, ask him, he's here, he'll tell you, I mean, I think it, it pays off, it pays off a living healthy, at least I think, I mean, in my humble opinion, <laughs> in my, in my so-so humble opinion, <laughs> uh, it was the thin and crust, I mean, honestly, it was like, Dude, it was like this. Tin and crust. It was like this. Okay, it was like this, man. It was tin and crust. It was like this. It was very, very, um, very thin and crust, small. But uh, I specifically told him spinach. And he put mushrooms. Now, I can eat mushrooms. It doesn't bother my ass. You know, it doesn't bother my ass. Okay, I'll eat. I'll eat a cockroach if I have to. If I have to to survive, I don't care. Uh, I will never eat another human being. That I'll never do that shit. Trust me, I'll never fucking do that shit. Uh, but I will eat a cockroach. I will eat a rat. I will eat a raccoon. I will eat a, a squirrel. Yep. And if I have to, I'll eat a pigeon. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> so my whole point is I can eat, you know, mushrooms. That's fine. But I didn't enjoy it. You know what I mean? That's the whole point. I ate it and I got something in my stomach. Okay. But I didn't like, I didn't enjoy it. It was like I was forcing myself. Put it in. Eat it. You know. <clears throat> All right, enough of fucking Mr. 4K Chef. <laughs> it's turning into a fucking cooking channel. <laughs> Gourmet style cooking with Mr. 4K. How to upscale your oven. <laughs> uh, 
What? Gorillas eating their own? What? Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. I thought you said uh, gorillas are cannibals. No, no, no. Uh, they eat cockroaches. All right, that's fine. Somebody says in China, there was a guy who went to China, and uh, I'm not sure which province in China, and it was uh, rice with cockroaches. Uh, and it felt like rice with, he, this guy says, it felt like rice with shrimp. It was like eating a shrimp. Uh, you know, they trimmed the legs and everything. They cut the antenna and all that shit. Uh, it felt like uh, shrimp. Like shrimp with rice. <laughs> that's that's what the guy said. It was one of the guys on the Travel Channel. I forgot where in China, some province in in China, somewhere out there. Forgot where it was. <clears throat> Are you hungry? Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, shit. And that's the best way to lose a weight is uh, you see some nasty shit and that nasty shit stays in your head and you'll never eat again. You'll probably eat uh, eat some apple or protein juice or whatever or cornflakes. That's how you lose weight. Uh, you put some nasty shit in your head and you lose appetite. You can't eat, you know. That's the best way to, uh, to fuck you up, to... To lose weight. That way you lose the appetite. You know, you don't give a shit. If it's a hamburger, I cannot eat it because I have this nasty shit in my head. So you can't eat no more. And it works. Psychologically, it works. Maybe I need to write a book about that. I want to show you a picture of roaches with rice. And uh, you'll never eat your hamburger again. <laughs> you'll never eat your goddamn hamburger again. Um. Uh, Or we can go to the extreme. You can go to Google. You can uh, search about that Japanese guy who was eating women, uh, dating women, killing them, putting them in a fridge, in an ice box. For, uh, ice box, not a fridge, ice box. And then you can see the photos, how he was eating them and all that. And I guarantee you, you're never going to eat again after you see those photos. <laughs> By the way, that guy's got free. He's free in Japan because Japan has this fucked up law. Uh, some some countries out there have a very fucked up law. Uh, Canada, you got a fucked up law as well, okay? Uh, which is another subject that, that we should talk about. Uh, I'm talking about Canadian law, about uh, criminally, 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 I cannot talk. Criminally insane. Basically, if you have schizophrenia... Or if you are, let's say you're schizophrenic and you kill someone, uh, they're not going to execute you. Uh, they're going to put you through some kind of psychiatric uh, evaluation after 10 years. And if after 10 years you prove yourself to be not a threat to society, they're going to let you go free. Uh, so Canada has some fucked up laws. You guys got some fucked up laws. I got to tell you, very fucked up laws. Uh, other countries, like I said, Japan, like this guy ate, ate women. Uh, like, yeah. And now he said he's not hungry anymore. He says he's not going to do it again. And they ask him, but how can we trust you? He says, well, I don't have the appetite. But how do we not know that you're not going to have a fucking appetite again? Appetite. That you want to kill another woman and then eat her. How do we fucking know that? Uh, I'm not making this up. This is all... This is all out there. You guys can Google that shit. It's all out there. It's in. It's all there. I'm not making this shit up, guys. I wish that I was making this shit up, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, well, well, there's a guy. Uh, look him up. There's a guy uh, in Canada. In um, 
He's a Chinese, immigrated from China. His name is Vincent Lee. Uh, in 2008, on one of the Greyhound buses from Edmonton to Winnipeg in Alberta, this guy killed this uh, kid, 21-year-old kid. Name is uh, Tim McLean, or Tim McLean. Uh, he had a big uh, Rambo knife, survival knife. And while this kid was sleeping, they were in the same bus, on the same row, on the same seat. He, uh, this kid, Tim, was sitting next to the window, and this Chinese guy, uh, Vincent Lee, was six foot two or six foot three. Uh, he was right next to him, and this kid had his headphones on and fell asleep, leaning against uh, the window of uh, the bus and this guy had a schizophrenia this guy Vincent Lee had a schizophrenia uh, the voice in his head told him to use his big knife big Rambo knife survival knife and start stabbing this kid the first blow went to his neck and this kid jumped out and the, the blood started squirting and then he started stabbing him and stabbing him 100 times something like a 50 60 close to 100 times till Finally, he started cutting his head off and he cut his head off and then he was just holding the head, showing it to everybody. And then he started eating his eyes, eating his tongue, eating his lips. And he opened his chest, took a quarter of his heart and ate his heart too. Oh yeah, he took his ears, ate his ears and his eyes, eyeballs. And he's got free under a different name. Because Canadian law, uh, you cannot be held responsible if you're schizophrenic because you didn't know you what you were doing for four hours while you were eating that kid, poor kid. Uh, and this guy, Vincent Lee, it's free. He is in Winnipeg in Alberta. And uh, he's 50-something years old now, uh, and he's free. He is free. He is discharged under a different name, I believe, name of Will Baker. His name is Will Baker. And this guy uh, did this horrific act on the bus 1170, I think. Uh, Greyhound bus 1170. I'm not making this shit up. You guys can go look this up. I'm not making this shit up. And this guy, it's free. Scott, free. Roaming around. He said on the interview... Uh, it was a transcript interview in Canada to one of the psychiatrists, uh, psychiatric evaluation uh, personnel. He said that he's sorry. He's sorry to the family of Tim McLean. And he said that uh, what he did was wrong and that he will never be happy because what he did was wrong. But he says he didn't do it. Schizophrenia did it. Uh, I don't buy... I mean... I don't buy that shit at all. He was there for four hours. He said that the aliens told him. He said that the God told him that uh, this kid was an alien. And that's why he killed him. And, but why did you eat him? Like, why did you have to eat him? Why did you have to cut his head off? Why did you eat his eyeballs? Why did you eat his heart? Uh, why did you eat? Why did you take his ears and the nose? He cut his nose and ears. Don't look at those photos, guys. They're very graphic photos, please. Uh, it's gonna give you nightmares. Don't look at those photos. Okay, I, I urge you strongly not to. Please don't look at them. Uh, you cannot handle it. I'm telling you, you will not be able to handle this. Um, so, Canada, you got some fucked up laws. You got really some fucked up laws. Japan has some fucked up laws. Uh, a lot of people criticize America. We got some. We got a strict law here, man. Here you get a death penalty. Uh, this guy, if this guy Vincent Lee did this here in America, they would have executed him a long time ago. Be bye bye. His ass would be fucking bye bye. First of all, the cops would have shot his ass. They would have unloaded the entire clips. They would have fucking killed him. Uh, that would be that. So Canada. Shame on you, Canada. Shame on you. But anyway, enough of me giving you these horror stories. Uh, these, sto these stories are real. 
I'm not making this up. Everything I say here, you can look it up. You can fat, fact check, fact check everything I say. <clears throat> anyway, let's get back to a video game. Let's play. Maybe I shouldn't be telling you about all of this stuff. But that's nothing. There's another case. That's, you know how many cases are like this? This is just me scratching, not even scratching the surface. There's a girl uh, from from Ireland, Irish girl from I no, Scotland. I'm sorry, Scotland or no, Ireland, Ireland from Irish. She's an Irish girl from Ireland. Uh, she wanted to study uh, yoga. You know, she was really into yoga. She was really into uh, the whole Indian culture. She loved the Indian uh, culture. India, population of one billion people, right? Uh, New Delhi, India. And she loves, you know, uh, yoga and all this other stuff, uh, Kama Sutra, all that stuff. She really loved India. She loved the culture of India. And guess what? She moved from... Uh, she went to travel from Ireland to India in New Delhi. And guess what happened to her? She went there in hope of finding a small measure of peace, enjoying the, the yoga and the culture of India. Very good looking girl. Guess what happened to her? Guess what happened to her? She got raped. Bro no, she first got drugged raped and then they cut her head off and tie her up to the tree in the jungle and she was there for about two weeks till finally they find her decapitated hanging up from the tree like in the predator movie a lot of crazy shit out there guys a lot of crazy this is just me not even scratching the surface you know but hey that's world for you. That's 8 billion people for you. These things, unfortunately, they, they do happen because you got 8 billion people on this planet. Uh, you know, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You know, <laughs> I don't know how we got to this conversation. <laughs> I don't know how we got to this conversation. But anyway, it is what it is. Just don't fall asleep. In the bus. That's my advice to you. Actually, don't even fucking ride a bus. Just take a fucking car. <laughs> Just pay attention to your surroundings. Okay? That's why I keep telling people. Look around you. What is this motherfucker here? What is he doing? What's in that duffel bag? What the fuck is he doing? You let him know. Hey, asshole. We got a problem? You know. Take the fucking bag or whatever. You got to let people know. Don't get... Um, Don't get too relaxed. Don't get too relaxed. You can relax in your home when you lock the doors. Fine. But when you're in the public, don't get too relaxed. Because if you get too relaxed, somebody's going to pay attention and you're not paying attention. Remember, when you are in the public, when you are not paying attention, somebody else is watching somebody else is paying attention this can save your life this can save your life and remember what the police and the fbi and the law enforcement tells you if you see something say something see something say something okay you can stay anonymous you can call the cops let them know stay anonymous let them handle it. They're professionals, all right? So if you see something, say something. You don't have to be a hero. I'm not asking people to be a fucking heroes. I'm not asking you to be a Liam Neeson, okay? But if you see something, say something. All right, so let's continue enough of this talk. 
I should have saved this for a Halloween. This is like a Halloween story. <laughs> Fuck up, man. Let's get back to... Uh... <clears throat> and do yourself a favor, guys. Don't try to look at these images. Don't try to look at these gruesome stuff. Uh, you will not be able to eat. It's going to fuck you up. Uh, you, will, you won't be able to sleep. So don't do too much research uh, out there about these things. Okay? It's going to fuck you up mentally. And, and you won't be able to eat. You'll have insomnia. It's going to fuck you up. So don't research too much, you know, about this stuff. All right, let's go back to the game. Enough of this. Jesus Christ, what is this turning into? Coast to coast AM? Coast to coast AM? No, it does. Feels like uh, George Nori. Coast to coast AM. Right? Doesn't it feel like it? It does. Only I can do this kind Only, I swear to God, no other... People tell me, there's no other YouTuber that would jump from one subject to another subject so extremely 360. <laughs> Anyway, my fault. I shouldn't have mentioned this. I'm sorry, guys. Just don't research this stuff. Just leave it alone, guys. You don't want to see the images. You don't want to see this. Trust me. Uh, one more thing I want to say. Somebody asked me the other day, how come this stuff doesn't bother you? Well, of course it bothers me. I don't want to see an innocent, innocent human being, uh, you know, be torn to pieces, mutilated, mutilated and, and eaten. I don't want to see that. That's somebody's daughter. That's somebody's son. That's somebody's family. I don't want to see that shit. But... I was exposed to violence during the war in Bosnia, in Sarajevo. So at a very young age, at a very young age, I had no choice. I was presented by the brutal violence of seeing bodies torn to pieces. Uh, I've seen all kinds of crazy shit. Um, okay. And from time to time, I still have nightmares. I mean, I, those images still appear. I've five years, no, four years of war in that city at a young age fucked me up, man. But I was exposed to, you know, this violence front and center during that brutal war conflict in 1992, 1993, uh, 1995. It was uh, 1992, 1995 that, that, that civil war conflict that erupted in, in Bosnia, Sarajevo, in 1992. So, I'm not saying that I'm used to it, seeing something like that. I don't want to see shit like that. But I can handle it better. Just like an FBI agent or homicide detective or uh, medical personnel from CSI can handle it better, or medical examiner coroner's office can handle it better. Um, by you guys, obviously, you won't be able to handle it that well because you've never seen something like that. And it's like, oh, fuck. Your heart rate will go up. You'll have panic attacks. You won't be able to catch a breath. You're going to have tightness in your chest. Because of your adrenaline and blood pressure. Uh, and don't look at those images. Don't do this to yourself. It's very graphic and shit. Uh, just take my word. Uh, there's evil out there. There's evil out there. And I was exposed to that shit in a very young age. Evil does exist. Okay. I know what the humans are capable of doing. I can't explain why they do what they do. And where does that come from? I don't fucking know. But it has to be some evil, evil spirit that corrupts a person or possesses a person to do the unthinkable.
All right, so enough of this. Let's move on. People are like, what the fuck is going on here? People are like, Jesus Christ, Mr. 4K. What is this channel all about? What the hell is this about? <laughs> is this about video games? What is this? Coast to coast AM? What the fuck are we watching? <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. I don't know how we got into this conversation. I really don't know how we got into it. I have no idea. <sighs> I apologize. I don't know how we got into this. What happened? The profile is a master of the overtake. If the past folks left to right and center, I get it, man. Stay out of the way. <laughs> I gotta retry. Hold on. We have to retry this. Yeah, I know, but I think people don't want to hear about this stuff because, um, you know, the life is stressful as it is. People are stressed as it is. And I don't want to put another extra icing of a cake on the stress that they're already dealing with. You know what I mean? Let's retry again. Let's do this. Um... Listen, there's people out there who have to uh, deal with this. FBI agents, uh, medical examiners, law enforcement. They have to see this gruesome stuff. They have to deal with it because it's part of their job. Uh, but you guys don't have to deal with this because it's not part of your job. You know, you're not in law enforcement. You're not an FBI agent. You don't have to look at this stuff. But they do. Uh, so you don't, have to, you don't have to put that stuff in your head. You don't have to look at the images and all that crap. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And I apologize for bringing this up. You know? I don't know how we got into this conversation. I really don't know. I don't know how we... I have to look... I have to watch the stream. I have to watch this stream from beginning. Like, how the hell did we end up in this conversation? Like, what the fuck happened? How did we get here? How do we get here with this conversation? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. I just don't know. I really have no idea, dude, how we got into it. How we got there. I have no idea. Stadia, I don't know. Um, stadia is a stadia. It's not bad. But I don't know how Stadia is going to survive. With, uh, you know, Luna coming up. With PlayStation now. Um... And who knows what PlayStation 5 is going to do with the PlayStation now, right? And then the X Cloud coming to PC, coming to the X Series X. Uh, Amazon Luna, I just mentioned Amazon Luna. Um, uh, Shadow, Shadow. Nintendo is thinking about the cloud gaming. I guess Stadia can exist in its own merit. In its own way. I guess it can exist in its own way. Uh, and I have no problem with Stadia. 
I just want to say this. I have no problem with Stadia, but when you look at the competition, when you look what's out there, what's available, uh, I don't know. They, they need to step up their game a little bit. Uh, they need to step up their game a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. And I said, and I said this from beginning. Remember, last year, November, uh, beginning of this year. I'm sorry, beginning of this year, January, February. What did I say? I I criticized Stadia. I clearly said Stadia needs to step up their game. Google needs to move forward. They need to step up their game. They're not. They're not stepping up their game. And they're letting somebody else take that advantage. And I and I kept saying that. And I said, why is it that Google, a big corporation like Google, it's having a difficult time to secure Ubisoft, to secure all these other companies, to bring us the electronic arts already. I mean, what are we waiting for? Where's FIFA? Where's Madden? Where's Jedi Fallen Order? I mean, Jesus H. Christ, what are we waiting for? Where's the Dirt 5? Dirt 5's not coming till next year. What the hell's going on? Stadia. You know, we don't want these indie games. These mobile Android indie games. It's fine to play them, I guess. It's, I'll play anything because I'm a gamer. But you got to step up your game, Stadia. You need to step up your game. And I kept saying this, kept saying it, but I don't think they heard me. I don't think they listen, you know? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's coming by next year, next year in 2021, which is ridiculous, you know? Why do we have to wait till next year? I'm already playing it, so why should I wait till next year? You know, uh, why do we have to wait this long to play uh, Jedi Fallen Order? And where's FIFA? Where's Madden? <clears throat> what the fuck happened? <sighs> I thought we were supposed to play Madden and FIFA already. At least FIFA. So I can play with uh, Mamba. Play some FIFA with Mamba. UFC. Where is the UFC? Play UFC. Come on. Stadia, I mean, uh, missed opportunity. It's hard for me to defend you. How can I defend you from wrong ya, yeah, from wrong ya, yeah, young ya? Yeah. How can I how can I defend you from young ya yeah and a Dreamcast guy who never plays Dreamcast games when you are making it so easy? When you are making it so easy for Dreamcast guy who never plays Dreamcast games and wrong ya, yeah, young ya. Yeah, you're making it so damn easy for these guys to trash talk about Stadia. You're making it so damn easy. I can't. I cannot defend you. How can I defend you? I can't. I have nothing to work with. You're not giving me anything to work with, Stadia. You got to give me something to work with here. Honestly, you got to give me something. You're not giving me anything to work with, Stadia. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, let's retry this. Hopefully, I'll get selected for Amazon Luna because I really want to test Amazon Luna, man. Uh, I think Amazon should select me because uh, they know. I mean, you guys know I'm going to test the hell out of that service. Uh, but keep my fingers crossed. I don't think I will get selected. I did register beginning of October, but I don't think I'll get selected, dude. I'm not that lucky. I'm not that lucky, dude. I'm not that fucking lucky, dude. I'm be I, I was never lucky, so fuck it, you know. I don't expect anything. But uh, yeah. Forget about it. I'm they're not going to select me. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Real-time ray tracing. Let's go. The Xbox Series X. This is your Xbox Series X, guys. Here you go. Enough of talking. Time to play.
Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, this is tough. I need Tom Cruise for this shit. This is difficult, man. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> this is tough. Tough, tough, tough. At least I got some points. Made some money. 99,000, I think. Oh, 100,000. Okay, okay. Not bad. I can live with that. What's up, guys? Uh, Mr. Urban, you don't have enough deep pockets, bro. Deep pockets, man. Gotta have deep pockets, dozens of accounts, joint accounts, and uh, you can be in a deficit. You have to be in a surplus. And then finally, one day, she'll appear on your door. Forget about it, man. It ain't happening, man. Just uh, don't expect anything, man. The best way to live a life is don't expect nothing. Just don't expect fucking nothing, dude. Expect nothing. Just expect that you're going to live. You're going to live. And then eventually one day you're going to die. And that's it. End of story. That's that. That's fucking life. Cheers. hate to be so melodramatic but that's the truth i don't like to uh bullshit people you know i'm not in the business of bullshitting people you know i don't i mean i can i could be the best bullshitter but i would rather tell you the truth <laughs> all right let's continue let's go to china china we're going to China. We got some cars here we can unlock. Let's see what else we got here. We got a BMW, man. Look at this BMW. It looks badass, dude. What else we got here? Oh, dude, this looks like a beast. Oh, damn, man. Look at this beast. This damn beast, man. What kind of car is this? What kind of a car is this, dude? It looks like a Humvee. But it's huge. Look at this thing, man. Looks like a... I'm gonna select this. Fucking A, dude. You don't want to have anybody. Let me tell you something. I would rather be alone for the rest of my natural life and die alone than to have somebody be there because of some self-interest and it's using me because of a self-interest and it's lying to me, feeding me bullshit. I don't want that. That's like having a cancer. 
that's like almost having a stage three cancer honestly i don't fucking i don't want that i'll fucking rather die alone uh fuck that noise i know there's guys out there they do that shit but when you look at them and their married life and what they have become like zombies oh, oh. they become like zombies their soul has been drained out of them like fucking zombies man uh fuck that it's not for me you can have that i don't want that shit it's just me you know all right so i'm gonna go with this let's open the doors oh dude this looks badass this is a badass fucking car can we zoom in This looks like a Batmobile. This shit is fucking big. Hell yeah, dude. I'm definitely getting this. Sure. For sure I'm getting it. Ah, yeah. This is it. Getting it, man. This is a badass. This is a beast. And look at this one. Oh my god. Look at this bad boy. Oh boy. Look at this bad boy. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Why isn't this in VR? Who thought? I would like to know from Codemasters whose idea was it to say, oh, this is not going to look good in VR. This shit needs to be in virtual reality. Why isn't this shit in VR? So I can use my Oculus Quest 2 with an 1800 by 1900 resolution. So I can enjoy it. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is good, but this is just more badass. What about this BMW? Hold on. This BMW looks fucking good too, man. Look at this BMW. Ah, damn. Damn! Extra tires and shit. Man, these are all good. Hold on. How do I zoom in? Fuck, man. This looks badass. God damn. Looks badass. So what should I do? Should I go with a Beamer? With a BMW? Or should I go with a Peugeot? This Peugeot beat beast. What do you guys think? BMW? BMW, yeah, we got to go with it. Listen, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm like... Um, this is Peugeot. This is uh, uh, French. It looks pretty good, man. It looks like a beast. Let me see. It looks like a beast. But man, that BMW. I don't know. I think Germans are better, dude. I don't know. It's just Germans do better better cars. Let me see. This is... Uh, I don't know what company is this. I don't know. This, this BMW, man. I know. I got to go with this. It looks like a, it, it is badass. Look how big it is. This is small. Look how wide. This is like a ha hammer. Like a hammer. Not a hammer. Hammer. It's badass, man. It's fucking badass. No, you're right. It looks like a badass. Look at the tires. Look at look at the chat. Look at the chassis. Look at the uh the shocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Mr. Urban, that's it. I'm going with this shit. Fucking A. This is a beast. Pure beast, man. Hold on. Hold on a second. We're going to go with this. Just give me a second. Just give me one second. Hold on a second. Somebody. Uh, what's going on? What's going on over here? Hmm. 
Wow, I got 16 likes. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Something's changing. This is a good sign. I got 16 likes, but I didn't look at the dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look at the dislikes. I just look at the, the likes. 16 likes and how many dislikes? Two. What was it? 220 dislikes and 16 likes. Oh, my God. Good Lord. May have mercy. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 200 dislikes and 16 likes. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, help me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Now it's at uh, 250. Jesus Christ. How? No, this is scapling haters. Scapling, camouflaged, stealth, salty crocodiles. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I know what the fuck's going on here. I know what's going on. They, uh, Uh, you know what? Let's 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 fucking let's just do it. Hold on. You know what, man? Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh Lord. Oh man. Here we go. You guys, ready? Check this out. Oh Jesus Christ. Here we go. Nineteen. Oh, dude, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's only 19 likes, 5 dislikes. Okay. All right. But now they're going to come in. Now they're going to fucking come out of the woodwork. Now they're getting their fake accounts ready. <laughs> now they're getting ready. Trolls are coming out of the woodwork, man. <laughs> they're coming down the mountain slowly. <laughs> slowly, but surely they're coming down the fucking mountain, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, JT's a <laughs> Just a troll. He's just a troll. I gave him that. Listen, I gave him that nickname. Just troll. I gave him that nickname, man. Did you see his... Uh, uh, there's um, another profile picture that he put. It's like bunch of furniture, like uh, IKEA's furniture or something, uh, and bunch of furniture, small little apartment, like look like an elevator, small little tiny room, maybe two hundred square feet, and bunch of giant speakers around this small little room, and then a fifty-five inch television in front of it, and very. Poor quality, blurry picture. <laughs> hey, look, man, he did it to himself. The guy did it to himself, dude. Like, I, I have this. Let me tell you something, man. I have my limits, you know. Uh, certain things I can forgive. Certain things I can let go. Okay. But when you cross the fucking line, dude, when you get personal, when you start talking about my father, dude, about my father who passed away from cancer, when you start talking about that, you cross the fucking line. Not only did you cross the fucking line, but you made it personal. That's a dangerous fucking line you're crossing. And I hope you learned your lesson. You don't cross that fucking line, asshole. If you don't like me, don't watch me. But you don't cross that fucking line. Ever. For your sake. What a fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. And he's in Europe. He's in Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Whatever. I never do that, guys. I I'm giving everybody here... I'm giving everybody here... The best advice 
if you care about your life, if you want to live a long, prosper life, don't cross the line. Don't make it personal. You're playing with fire because you're going to bump into somebody who will not forgive you. You're going to bump into somebody who's going to snap so fast, so quick. You're not going to even know what hit you. So do yourself a favor. Keep your fucking ego in check. Don't be a fucking idiot. Okay? Because when it's too late, it's too late. And this idiot, obviously he's a fucking idiot. Uh, I knew he lied about him having a business company. I said, you have a business company and you travel a lot? Well, why don't you tell me what's the name of your company? What's the name of your business? What's the name of your trademark? Oh, I cannot talk about that. Uh, It's confidential. I said, hold on a second. You have a business, but you are afraid to advertise your business. So how the fuck do you expect your business to prosper if you don't advertise it? I knew he lied about that, but I let it go. I don't give a fuck. That doesn't bother me. You can tell me lies about that. I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. I did. I knew he lied about that. And I also knew he lied about having a, a Ferrari, having a Lamborghini. I knew he lied about... Uh, having a $20,000 100-inch OLED television because it doesn't exist. LG told me that's bullshit. The the highest they have, it's 80-inch. Okay. Uh, I let it go. I let it go. But what I couldn't let go, it's him crossing the fucking line. That's where I draw the line. Okay. And that's why I exposed his ass. That's why I went after him and exposed him. Yeah, that's the guy. Full of shit, man. Full of shit. Like, full of fucking shit. Beyond full full of shit, man. i never seen such a guy that it's so full of shit. Anyway, let's buy this car. Okay, JT, you see, I can purchase a car, unlike you. Here we go. Let's uh, work on our car. All my cars going to look... Uh, blue and yellow because i'm representing bosnia so it has to be uh, blue and yellow and white because there's blue yellow and white stars uh okay so this is gonna be yellow obviously uh oh it's gonna be white i'm sorry white okay uh, was the other one this is gonna be yellow yellow Hold on. There we go. Blue, yellow. It's a dark blue, I'm sorry. Uh... Oh, yeah, this is it, bro. This is Bosnia right here. Bosnian color. So, yeah. Got got it. Oh, look at this beast. It's a goddamn beast. Look at it. Beast. Beast. Goddamn beast. Look at it, dude. Fucking A. Oh, with this car, I'll travel anywhere. Look at this. Fucking take this shit up to the mountain. Take this damn car up to the mountain. Yeah, I can easily drive this shit to the mountain. Go anywhere. Nice. 
nice. Look at this. Look at the chassis. Look at the uh, the shocks and everything. Imagine having this kind of a car on Fortnite. When you're playing a Fortnite, imagine having this kind of a car when you're playing it on Fortnite and driving something like this. You could put like a 50, 50 caliber machine gun, you and your friend. Well, actually, there is no you and your friend. Is there? Yeah, Battle Royale, two versus two, uh, three versus three. Uh, yeah. And make it like a Halo, like a Halo uh, truck. Halo Jeep, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, go check it out, man. Go check out Costco, man. They got some deals. Now is the perfect time to buy all it. Mamba, let me tell you, if you can find C10 for like $1,000, go for it, man. Go for it. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go to China. China. Go to China. This thing, it's a beast. Look at this damn thing, man. It's a goddamn beast. Look how big it is, man. It's huge. It's like a Humvee. Next thing I'm buying, it's BMW. But this thing, it's a beast. Cha -cha. Damn, this thing gets a beast. The next thing I'm getting, it's a BMW. Go for it. Go for it, dude. Go for it. That's a pretty good deal, man. Go for it. Ah, it's a fully loaded television, man. It has everything. Mamba, it has everything. And I do mean it's a fully... The only thing that's missing, it's a 8K resolution. But it has everything else, man. Out of the box, you got all the features, you got everything, dude. I mean, fully loaded. And your video, and listen, that Xbox, it's gonna look so goddamn good. That X Series X, it's gonna look so goddamn good on that C10. It's mind blowing, dude. Mind blowing. That's a good deal, man. I'm telling you right now. Telling you right now.
This is like a it's like a fucking truck, man. Like an armored truck. God damn, it's huge. But I also want to get that BMW. I want to try that BMW. That's my next car. Sure. The Beamer. Don't think too long, Mamba. Because that price, it's only limited time only. It's not going to stay like that forever. Remember, these prices, they're limited time only. So you got to act quickly. Just letting you know. I'm starting to sound like a TV salesman. <laughs> Because I don't want to see you pay a full price. Uh, you know. I would rather you pay, save $100. Oh, we got to do this again. Oh my god, we got to do this again. Wait, we got to do this again, man. This is not right. Got to retry. Hold on a second, guys. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. So how do I feel about the Dirt 5? Um, hold on a second. Everybody's been asking me this question. Um, maybe I can answer a couple of things. How do I feel about the Dirt 5? Um, well, if you are a longtime Dirt fan and you are coming from it from a uh, simulator perspective, then I got some bad news for you. This is not a simulator. Uh, you shouldn't be using a racing wheel with this. You should use a controller. Um, but if you are somebody who loves arcade type Horizon type of uh, racing games, if you love Horizon, I think you'll feel right at home with this one. Uh, so, it's very important that you understand that. This is not a simulator, okay? I don't want you using your racing wheel. Even gaming, uh, Muscle, Muscle Gamer uh, YouTube channel said this as well. And he's a huge uh, simulator guy. And even he says, you don't want to use a racing wheel with this. So, this is more like arcade horizon type of uh, experience it's it's neat it's not an open world uh, but it's pretty cool experience um, but it's arcade okay it's just very important it's arcade now is that a good thing or is that a bad thing well it depends on how you look at it if you are a flight if you are a simulator guy that it might bother you but if you're not a simulator guy and you appreciate you know the arcade or if you are a simulator guy and you don't mind a little bit of arcade then you will appreciate this game however don't expect this to be like a Assetto Corsa or Dirt Rally or something like that it's not like that uh, this is Horizon think of it like a Horizon however the controls are pretty good the handling and the controls in this game are top-notch 
and you will appreciate that. And to me, that's the important part when it comes to arcade racing games. I love that the uh, controls are done well. The stability, the response, uh, everything in terms of how you control the vehicle, it's done really well. Also, the weight of the vehicle differs. So like this, this car right here, it's a bit bigger, more wider, and I definitely feel some weight on this car. It doesn't feel light, it feels a bit more heavier because it is a heavier hull, it is a heavier car, so I feel more weight while I'm driving it. Uh, so the cars, they feel different and they handle different, but the controls are top notch. You will not uh, be disappointed with uh, controls on this game. You will be pleasantly surprised. Also, the voice of Troy Baker, it's in the game. Troy Baker is the guy who played, obviously, uh, Joel Miller and a bunch of other characters and Charted, whatnot. Uh, Joel Miller, The Last of Us 1 and 2. And there's also a podcast. Pretty cool podcast by YouTubers and others. Uh, there's a soundtrack in the game, but I cannot play the soundtrack. Because I am, you know... Uh, live streaming it on YouTube. So overall, uh, how does it look graphically? Well, graphically, this game, it's not something for you to showcase your Xbox Series X. It's not something you say, hey, look at my Xbox Series X. You know, this thing, it just freaking looks amazing. There is a real-time ray tracing, but this is not a great example of real-time ray tracing. If you want a great example of real-time ray tracing, Watch Dogs Legion. You got to go with the Watch Dogs Legion. That's the game you want to showcase uh, to people. Real-time ray tracing. Okay. On the Xbox Series X coming this Tuesday. Um, this, it's cool. It's fun. It's fun. And that's what it is. It's fun. And that, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. What is the fun factor? Fun factor means I can always pick this up and I can always play it with friends. How much is that worth to you? I don't know. Because everybody has a different preference. Some people, they don't like arcade. And some, they like arcade. Some, they just want strictly direct drive, fanatic uh, wheel that direct drive, their simulators, they just want the simulation aspect of it. I get that. But this here, it ain't it. It ain't it. You know, it's not a simulator, so I don't want you to get the wrong impression. I hope this little overview helps you out. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I will have a 4K video of this and some picture settings on my OLED TV. I'll show you how it looks on the OLED. I'll show you some various different settings. And I'll also have a, uh, a 4K capture of this for you to see how it runs in 4K, etc., etc. <clears throat> so I hope that that kind of helps you out a little bit. But I like it. I mean, I like, it doesn't bother me. I, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be playing it, obviously. you know. But I also understand that it's not for everyone. And remember, guys, uh, here's the important thing that, um, that I forgot to mention. Uh, developers are not making games. When they make a game, they're not making that game to appeal to everybody they make a game to appeal to a certain audience and they understand that they are okay with that okay they're not making a game to appeal to everybody so of course there's gonna be people out there who are gonna complain about not having a little bit better graphics I personally don't think there's anything wrong with the graphics I think the graphics are good but you gotta watch it on a beautiful TV 
like OLED with HDR and real-time ray tracing, okay, you got it depends on which TV you are playing this on, all right, and what system you're playing it on. If you're playing this on the Xbox Series X, that real-time ray tracing on the Xbox Series X, RDNA 2, absolutely. Uh, maybe I can showcase, maybe I can show it to you here. Hold on. Maybe I can show it a little bit here. Maybe I can do that. I don't know. Let's go to, where was it? Um, Arizona? No, not Arizona. Where was it? Uh, like right here. Roosevelt, uh, Roosevelt Bridge. Here we go. Maybe I can showcase it here. Um, how much is this? I don't have enough money. I cannot buy it. God damn it. Fine. Hold on. Maybe I can showcase a little bit of a real-time ray tracing here so you guys can see it. I don't hear. Do you guys see it? I don't know how much do you guys see here. I don't know how much can you see. I don't know. There it is right there. You see it? Uh, it shows up somewhere on certain areas. It shows up nicely and on some it doesn't. Uh, Hold on, procedural, actuality, cloud quality. I got everything in automatic set here. Put everything in automatic, 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 automatic. Let me see. Let me crank everything high. Let's see. Let's see how bad this gets. Let's see how bad. Oh, Lord. Fifty frames per second. All right, now, now the te now this is a little bit better, but uh, we're losing some frames, obviously, because we got everything cranked up, and uh, you know. I don't know if this is where you want to be. I think this is too much, too clunky here to be at this point. I think the best thing to do is to keep it on a um, automatic. Keep everything at automatic. Automatic, 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 and confirm. 
and now we're gonna hit that 60 FPS Oh, let's restart. Yeah, it's hard to see it uh, here, uh, but it's there. Like you can see it here, like right here, like right here, you can see it. It's not the greatest, but it gets the job done. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for you guys to see it, you know. I mean, it's there, but... You know. With 720p, uh, you guys are watching at 720p, so it's going to be difficult uh, to see. <clears throat> I want to try this on a maximum settings on a on a Ryzen 9 in 2080 Super to see uh, what kind of performance can I squeeze. But I think this game is only optimized to to run to a certain level. I don't think this game is going to use 12 cores. Maybe three cores, roughly. Maximum four cores. So... I want to get that BMW. I need to, I need to make some money. Uh, let's go to Italy, Stampedo. Italy. Oh, 
Oh, this is at night. Oh, shit. This is gonna be good. We're gonna do this shit at night, man. You know, I, I don't understand why why Xbox Series X... Remember that Xbox showcase? Why they were showing this game first? Uh, instead of Halo. Or instead of... Um, I don't know. What was the name of that other game? Um... Hellblade. It was a Hellblade? Yeah, Hellblade. Why? Like Hellblade 2 or something they should have showcased. But instead they were showcasing this. Which I don't understand why. Damn it, this car is not good for the uphill. Damn it, man. Come on. I need a better car, man. It's not going to do it. But I made some points and made some money, I guess. Should have gone with the BMW. Can't go wrong with the BMW, man. It's a BMW. Germans didn't know how to make a good cars, man. I'm telling you. Holy shit. Man.
I swear to God, this level, it's like straight out of uh, Halo. Like we're in fucking Halo or some shit. God. Can see shit. I will. <laughs> ah, hell no. I'm not ready for anything, man. I'm ready to sleep for a month. For a year. That's what I'm ready for, dude. Nothing excites me anymore, man. You know, I used to give a shit about all that stuff back in the days. Now I don't give a shit about any of that stuff, man. You know, I have nobody. I have no friends. I have no relatives to, to talk to. Uh, I don't hang out with any of them, so... It really doesn't mean anything to me. Who am I going to buy Christmas gifts, you know? So, you know what I mean? It used to mean something to me back in the days, but it uh, doesn't mean shit to me anymore, man. Um, you know, everybody's out for themselves. Everybody only thinks about themselves. They think about their own selfish reasons. They don't care about other people. Uh, they don't give a fuck what they say to you, whether they hurt your feelings or not hurt your feelings. Everybody's just out for themselves. Everybody's selfish. Well, I don't mean you guys. You guys are cool. I'm not talking about you. You guys are... You guys are my members. You guys are open-minded. You guys are understandable. You guys are cool. I'm not speaking about... This doesn't include you. I'm speaking like my relatives, people whom I used to know, stuff like that. Uh, my social circle, you know. Uh, it doesn't mean anything anymore, dude. Psst. I have cousins living around me. And I haven't spoken to them like in 10 years. 10 fucking years, man. Um, longer than, I think 15 years. Maybe even, maybe 20 years. I don't know. I don't even know. How is the long fucking time. Um... So it doesn't doesn't mean nothing. Even my birthday, I, nobody even knew it was my birthday, uh, in April. Like, huh? Jeez, you have a birthday? We thought you die. We thought you kick the can. That's the kind of attitude, you know. Uh, what am I supposed to reply to that? You know. So there's really like, you know, there's nothing out there for me, man. You know. Hey, dealer one, how you doing? Alaikum salam. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. What you can say about the PlayStation 5 without the VRR? VR, VRR, for those of you who don't know, it's a variable refresh rate. And what the dealer one is talking about is true. PlayStation 5 cannot handle uh, 1440p native resolution it doesn't have 1440p native resolution which that alone kind of sucks which is xbox one x was able to handle that um and it doesn't support 120 hertz refresh rate uh that's also a shame 
no expendable solid state drive storage and the Xbox Series X already has expendable solid state uh, drive storage um, from a technical point of view uh, and then you look at the GPU PlayStation 5 I have a PlayStation 5. You want to see it? PlayStation 5, it's a RDNA 1. It's a 5700 XT GPU, which cannot produce real-time ray tracing. Xbox Series X, it's RDNA 2, which produces the real-time ray tracing. Do you want to know what the, what the PlayStation, what you're paying $500 for? Here, I'll show you. Now, you do have exclusives, okay? You have exclusives, but so does PlayStation 4 Pro. But here, let, let me show you what you are paying uh, $500 for, okay? Just bear with me. Don't get mad, just bear with me. This is technical aspect. Here, let me show you. This is what you're paying uh, five hundred dollars for. This is a uh, Radeon fifty-seven hundred XT, fiftieth uh, anniversary edition. I have two of these. I have two of these uh, graphics cards. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. I did a video on them a long time ago. So this is what you're paying for uh, for the PlayStation Five. This is what you got. This is exactly what you have inside PlayStation Five, and I currently have this on two of my computers. Not to mention 2060 Super, my separate NVIDIA card that I have. So you're already... Uh, this is what you're paying for, basically. Okay? Just want to clarify that. So that's pretty much what you are paying for. But I know you're going to say, but Mr. 4K, exclusives. What about exclusives? Yeah. But those same exclusives, you can play on your PlayStation 4 Pro. I can play Miles Morales on PlayStation 4 Pro next week. Do you really think next week that Miles Morales will look anything better drastically drastically better on your PlayStation 5 it's not gonna look drastically better you're gonna need a magnifying glass as usual you're gonna need Richard from Digital Foundry with a Hubble telescope to show you that difference but you're not gonna really tell that difference sitting seven feet away on your television when you put PlayStation 4 Pro and the uh, PlayStation 5 right next to each other, I don't think you're going to see a drastic difference. Okay, we're talking about little tiny, tiny little differences that you're not going to notice. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. And you only got 600 gigabytes. That's not enough. Roughly 600 gigabytes storage. That's not enough. Just for NBA 2K, you're looking at 130, 150 gigabytes. Just for the Call of Duty Cold War, you're looking at 200 gigabytes. So two games right there. <laughs> there goes your PlayStation 5. You can put maximum three games and that's it. Hey, don't, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I'm just here giving you a technical aspect factual technical aspect i'm not 
trying to tell you what to do, what not to do. As I said previously on my videos, if you love your PlayStation, dude, love it. If you want to take a shower with it, go sleep with it, uh, take a bath with it, I don't care. It's your Do whatever you want to do, whatever helps you sleep at night. But the facts are facts. We cannot argue the facts. So Xbox Series X, fucking A. If I had a... Tr I mean, if you were to ask me right now, what would I buy if I could? X Series X across the board. Xbox Series X across the board. It's like a mini PC. Fucking A. Ah, easily. Easily. So what does that mean to you? I don't know. That's something you got to ask yourself. <clears throat> you know. But it's good to have both consoles. It's good to have both consoles. Like I said, I'm all I'm a gamer. I like to experience best of the both worlds. I have my Nintendo Switch. It's right here. It's sitting right here. I like to experience best of the both worlds. But we have to be fair. We have to be fair and we have to say, yeah. Technically, Xbox Series X, it's kicking ass. It definitely lives up to its name. The most powerful console. I can at least admit to that. I can admit I, yeah, technically, yeah. It's the most powerful console there is. But what does that mean to you? That's the question you got to ask yourself. What does that mean to you? To me, I don't know. It's nice to have that power, but at the end of the day, it's about the games. It's about the quality games that you can only play on that certain console. And Sony has proven to us when it comes to first party exclusive games they are the king of the mountain of the mount everest they bring the best exclusives they spend hundreds of millions of dollars on these first party exclusives so we got to keep that in check we got to keep that in mind you know hey ultimate gaming streamer <clears throat> You should get a projector. I think it's time. I think it's time that you get a projector, my friend. Let's go to Arizona. Let's go to Arizona. Oh, my God. What am I driving here? A golf cart? Oh, Lord. Now I gotta I gotta fix my golf cart. Hold on. Oh man. This is something else. There. And uh, layer three. There we go. See? Done. Done, done, done. Let me tell you. Uh, here, let me write it down for you. Brother, this is... Uh, you know what? I'll give you a link. How about this? I'm not going to even write it down. I'll just give you a link, bro. Here. Here's what you need. This is your the best projector entry level 1080p projector. Here you go. This is what you need, man. You need this. This is what you need. I know it's a bit it's 259, it's $260, but trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me when I tell you, it is worth it, it is worth it. 
I know that it's worth it. I know, I know, I know. It's so much worth it. I don't know if this is going to show up here, but fuck it. Here. Here. Nah, it's not going to work. I cannot hear, but I'll just give you... Hold on. Hold on a second. Cannot copy and paste. It's too big. Um... Thank you, uh, Ultimate Gaming Streamer. Here. Copy and paste. This is the name of projector. This is what you need, bro. Right here. Trust me. Actually, it's not a 640. It's a... Uh, I'm sorry. It's... Um, it comes with a bag. You can put it in a bag, carry it with you. Uh, I did a video on it, man. Um, I did a video on it. Just type in Mr. 4K Upscaler. V6 performance, it's, it's excellent, excellent uh, streaming uh, projector. It doesn't have that ring, you know, that halo ring. The focus, it's sharp. The reason this one is so good, because the focus, it's sharp from each square, each square diagonally. There's no halo, you know, that little blurry halo. It's sharp. The focus, it's super sharp, razor sharp. And my friend, that's what you want with a good contrast ratio. That V630 can go wrong, man. Buy it. Buy it. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't tell you not to buy it. Look, it's the, the best entry level. That you're gonna get, man, for a projector. You can go up to 300 inches, 300 inches of greatness, man. If we to to look at, you know. <clears throat> Do you think I could build a PC that's better than Sirius X for under thousand hmm. dollars? That's a good question. You could use. Ryzen 5, but Ryzen 5, 4 cores, eh. uh, you need more cores, dude. You need 8 cores. You need Ryzen 7, 7,000. You need Ryzen 7, 8 cores, CPU, that'll cost you, ah, uh, fuck, it's expensive, $300. Um, Nah, you can't. Uh, can you? Nah, fuck, you can't. Let me see. Can you? Ryzen 7. Maybe you find it cheaper during a holiday sale. Let's say you find it for 250 You find Ryzen 7, 700. Uh, Ryzen 7, 7000. No, 3700. I'm sorry. 3700 uh Ryzen 7 3700 I'm sorry Ryzen 7 3700 8 cores Ryzen 7 um cannot use 5700 XT because 5700 XT it's not RDNA2 you need a 6000 um uh, graphics card uh model you need a 6800 so 6800 is 500 dollars the CPU that's 750, 800. The memory, the mother, nah. It's still gonna come to 1500. Yeah, now nah, you can't. Uh, can't. Sorry. If you want to match what the Xbox Series X is doing, uh, you're gonna spend a lot. Of, you're gonna spend 1500 easily. 
I'm sorry, dude. I can't. <laughs> PCs are expensive. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, um, I understand why people are buying Xbox Series X. But people ask, why are PCs so expensive? Because PCs are personal computers. They're not just for gaming. Uh, PC, it's not just for gaming. Yes, you can game on a PC, but PC, it's a first and foremost, a personal computer. That's why they call it a PC. It's a personal computer. Console, it's a console. It, its purpose, main purpose, it's to play video games and, of course, stream movies, watch movies, etc. But that's it. That's all it does. You cannot run some video editing software. You cannot run Adobe Premiere okay, on it. It's not a, a Windows where you can go ahead and put some side load some files and whatnot. It's a console. So I understand that. But that's why PCs are more expensive because of the fact that they are personal computers. Uh, you cannot, it, it's difficult to live stream without a personal computer it is difficult to create a video editing without a personal computer it's almost impossible to make a uh, musical production uh, track without a computer personal computer so yeah cannot do it brother just get the serious sex man yeah it, it's 500 bucks man can't go wrong dude can't go wrong can't go wrong <clears throat> oh really I didn't know that if you can do that that's pretty cool I don't know. I, I never heard about Popular that, but if you can do that, that's pretty awesome. USA, USA. Sprint cars are high-powered, open-frame race cars designed primarily to turn left. And occasionally right. But mostly left. They run on short ovals or circular dirt tracks, and strapping yourself into one of these takes no small amount of courage. If you like power, dirt, and going sideways, sprint racing is most definitely for you. I love the wheels. Same. If you want different size tires on every single one of your wheels, Sprint's got you covered, baby. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, my God. I got to restart again, dude. This is going to be difficult. Jesus. This is tough. Good lord. Oh man, I cannot drive like this. This is crazy. Jeez. I'm not redneck enough. 
I'm not hillbilly. I'm not hillbilly enough to be able to drive this. I'm not hillbilly enough. Oh, Jesus, man. Fuck this shit. Fuck, dude. I cannot, man. Fuck this. Let's go to Italy again. Or, um... Tell me about it, man. I don't know how these... I mean... I wonder sometimes. Are people really broke? No, I really. I, I'm starting to wonder. Like, are people really poor? Because everyone seems to be driving brand new cars. Everyone seems to be buying houses. Everyone seems to be, you know, purchasing multiple consoles. Buying brand new TVs. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's either they're just maxing everything out on their credit or they got money. I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, makes me wonder, are people really poor? Do we have that many poor people? I guess we don't because everyone seems to be buying shit. Um, I don't mean to judge because whatever, but I'm just looking at it like, what the fuck? Where's all these poor people? I mean, it says the broke people, poor people, where the fuck are they? Uh, they're all buying shit. I know I'm getting a lot of heat for saying this, but fuck, you know? If there's a bunch of poor people out there, then why is everybody buying shit? Why is everything out of stock? Uh, seems to me that the money's there. Money's not a problem, I guess. I mean, you prove me otherwise. I'm just saying. I'm talking about America. I mean, United States. I'm not talking about, like, Brazil. In Brazil, I know people cannot buy shit. Because everything's so expensive. In Australia, it's so expensive. So, I'm speaking for the United States. You know. Speaking for here. U.S. Um... Everyone seems to be buying shit. Like, so are we really... Is, how many poor people do we fucking have? How many broke-ass people without a job do we have? Is economy really that bad? I don't think it's that bad. If people are buying shit, I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. Because the econ if the economy is so fucking terrible, then why are people buying shit? Where's the money coming from? Falling out of the sky, they're picking it up from the tree somewhere. Where the fuck is it coming from? So I don't know. Seems to me people are doing good, and that's okay. That's good. That's great. Hey, everybody's making money. That's awesome. That moves the economy going. But I don't want to hear this bullshit politics. Oh, the economy is terrible. Terrible economy. A horrible economy. Where? Everybody's driving brand new fucking cars buying brand new houses 
spending money like left and right buying these expensive Apple laptops and phones and televisions and consoles and virtual reality headsets uh, I don't think they're struggling okay I don't think they're gonna have a problem paying the fucking bills I don't know you tell me guys I mean, again I'm not talking about you I'm talking about like in general I, I don't think it's that bad I'm not saying that there aren't poor people out there of course there are poor people out there but it's not the way they are exaggerating it. I think they're, they are exaggerating a little bit too much that it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Sure. There's poor people out there, but I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's like super bad where you got like a great depression, you know, like during FDR times, during a great depression. I don't think it's like that. It's not 1930s, all right? Um, that's just the way I look at it. Because everyone's buying shit, dude. I went to the Best Buy the other day. Everything was fucking cleaned off the shelves. I said, people are buying shit. It's like, yeah. Yeah. People buying shit left and right. So you tell me if the economy is so fucking bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, look at uh, other countries. Look at uh, countries like in Latin America. Uh, look at countries out in, in Africa, uh, you know. Look at uh, other places. Look at Australia. You know, everything's so goddamn expensive in Australia. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good here, to be honest. Now, when I say we're doing pretty good, I mean, I'm looking at it from a bigger margin number yes of course we have poor people yes we have homeless people i'm not saying that there aren't any homeless people i'm not saying that there aren't poor people yes they're out there but it's not as bad as people are making it out to be it's not a great depression it's not 1930s 1930s was the worst time to be here in this country the worst depression ever and on top of that worst depression 1940s came in and they had to go to war to fight the, the Germany during the World War II. Um, and even in the 50s, after the World War II, it was still bad. <clears throat> even in 1950s, it was still a slippery slope. Uh, but, you know, Harry Truman, Eisenhower, they, they, Eisenhower fixed that up a little bit in his two terms. President Eisenhower, you know, he fixed it up till Congressman Kennedy, then President Kennedy came in and made the economy even better. Um, but I think people are exaggerating that it's really that bad. It's not that bad. Because I see people buying shit left and right, man. People buying shit left and right. Money's coming from somewhere. I don't know where, but it's fucking falling out of the skies. I guess. I'm a third place. Now I'm a sixth place. Came to the sixth place. I want to make some more money here on this game so I can buy a BMW. BMW. Um, I have to look into that. Jamie, Jamie, look into that, will you? <laughs> By the way, I'm using Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan uh, headphones. No, this this is really Joe Rogan's headphones right here. There they are. These are uh, Joe Rogan's uh, Joe Rogan's headphones. Just you guys, so you guys know. Look that up, Jamie, will you? I like I like how he always uses Jamie. Hey, 
Uh, I don't know about that. Hold on a second, guest. Very smart guest. Hold on a second. Jamie, look that up, will you? <laughs> he does. He does. These are his headphones. Sennheisers. I got two of Sennheisers. Sennheisers are one of my favorite studio monitor headphones. Uh, I love it, man. Uh, it's perfect. Okay, let's do... Um, Let's go to Brazil. Brazil. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. Oh, mama, mama, sita. Mama, mama, mia. Mama, sita, mama, mia. I don't have enough money, do I? No, I cannot buy it. God damn it. But that's okay. All right. there and then I need another layer here we go this is it there and then another layer it's gotta be blue people ask me why am I using these colors because this represents Bosnia Bosnian flag so I want this to be all just Bosnian flag color you know so put it like that uh i wouldn't say they're better than bose bose is the best when it comes to clarity but these are pretty good for durability honestly especially hd 558 they're excellent for durability i had these for almost Almost eight, eight years, almost eight years. I had these headphones and they do a phenomenal job. Joe Rogan's been using them for, for a long time and they, and he still uses them, you know? But I don't think anything's better than Bose. But remember, Bose is too expensive. You know. But it's clarity. Bose, it's about clarity. If you want the clarity, if you want to listen to your music in a clarity, then um, that's what you want. All right, so let's go to Brazil. We're going to uh, Cameron's D country. Cameron's the originally he's from from Brazil so that's where we go Brazil oh and and they did a piss poor job they they you know, let me tell you dr dre made a huge mistake he should have never done that he should have never done that dr dre um fucked up that brand apple fucked up that brand when monster was part of that beats monster beats made much better headphones man i remember the original uh monster beats the bass the clarity everything was fucking better the cable was much longer and better this bluetooth shit the bluetooth crap that uh, Apple is shoving down our throat. They, they just fucked it up. Uh, but listen, if somebody offers me $2 billion, I'm not going to say, let me think about it. No. Uh, let me think about $2 billion. I don't know, man. $2 billion. You know, I'm going to fucking think about it. I'll think about it. 
Let me sit on it for a couple of weeks, maybe a month. <laughs> oh, exactly, Mamba. Exactly. Tim Cook cooked up the apple into goulash and it tastes like shit. <sighs> Turn it into a chili and it's a very bad chili that tastes like shit. Tastes like diarrhea. Uh, so, uh, Tim Cook fucked up the company. Steve Jobs was the godfather of, of the company. You know, he was the innovator. He innovated the breakthrough of the new technology. Uh, yeah. You're right. You're right about that, Mamba. 100%. Let's go, let's go, let's go, my friend, my friend, my friend. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, I was watching The Hobbit on HBO Max with the uh, compressed HDR. Uh, it looks pretty good, actually. This car is so slow, oh my god. Into Valhalla we go. Into Valhalla. Whenever I hear the word Valhalla, it sounds like I'm entering a stadium of greatness. I don't know. Something like that. Apple is just ugh, pro this, pro that, pro, pro, pro. Everything's a pro. All right, so how many pros do you have? Jesus Christ. How many pros? Everyone's a pro. That's it. <laughs> no one's special. Everyone's a pro. Pro. Hey, bro, he's a pro. What about 11? 11's a pro. What about the 12? It's a pro. So what should I get? Get both of them. Pay an extra. Get the pro. What the fuck, man? <laughs> so goddamn pro these days pro this pro that pro my hairy ass how's that pro my hairy ass <laughs> oh lord pro let me get a sip of this water Jacob, my brother, Jew Daddy's here, man. My brother, Jew Daddy's here. Welcome back. Shalom, shalom. Welcome back. It's uh, Matthew, Matthew Fritz. 
And uh, handsome bastard. Cheers. Handsome bastard. <laughs> They're all here. They're watching. Tell him I said hi. Tell him I said hi. Oh, he's probably sleeping right now. How you been, Jacob? How you doing? I mean, met you. How you been? How's everything? Have you heard about the PlayStation? JD, have you heard about the PlayStation? PlayStation 5 doesn't even support native 1440p resolution. And they're selling it as a new generation. A new generation. New generation console. Lousy 1440p. No variable refresh rate. No real-time ray tracing because it's a RDNA 1 5700 XT GPU. No expandable solid-state uh, solid drive. Uh, hard drive that you can... A solid-state drive that you can buy. Expandable storage. Doesn't support expandable storage. While the Xbox Series X supports it. It really hasn't become like a joke. I know. It's turned into a total joke, man. And then I looked at the gameplay footage of uh, Spider-Man. And the gameplay footage of the Spider-Man, Miles Morales, looks very uh, choppy. The frame rate looks very choppy. Like, I thought, I thought... That the PlayStation 5 is supposed to be running this son of a gun super fast. Like, whoosh, lightning fast. You know. Look, I love my PlayStation. The, there's no question about it. PlayStation brings the best exclusives. The best exclusive games. There's no question about that. They spend hundreds of millions of dollars on, on the exclusives. But my God, come on, Sonny. I mean, Jesus. Would it kill you to put 6900 XT inside of it? Would it kill you to put Ryzen 5000 inside of it? Would it kill you to put 64 gigabytes of DDDR4 RAM on top of 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM? Would it kill you to put two terabytes of solid state drive with the expendable storage? I'll gladly pay 600 for it. Would it kill you? It would actually help you, Sonny. When you are creating that hundred million dollar, hundred million dollar invested first uh, party exclusive game, having all that raw power. I don't know. And, and listen, Sony has money. Like, this is, this is the part that really kills me. Uh, they have money. And honestly, guys, um, I want to say something really quick. Um, and honestly, guys, this is exactly why I said this is the last of the hardware consoles. I know JD, he knows. I'm, I'm the modern prophet. Might as well call me a modern prophet now. It is what it is. Might as well change my name to Moses. Seriously. I'm telling you. This is the last of the hardware consoles. We're going to have some uh, other upgrades like PlayStation 5 Pro or whatever they call it. Slimmer PlayStation 5 by 2024. We'll have Xbox Series X slim smaller version whatever and that's it by 2028 into 2029 and 2030 2030 everything will be cloud why here's the reason why because it cost sony less money to pay amd to pay nvidia to pay intel to create a server, a giant server, to run their games. And it's more plausible and it's more financially feasible 
for Sony to do it that way. Same thing for the Xbox to do it that way. It's costing him a lot of money to build that X Series X, to build that PlayStation 5. It costs him a lot of money. It's easier to do it through cloud. I'm just telling you guys. It's, it's, this is inevitable. Uh, this is like inevitable. It's going to happen. Like th there's no other way around this. <laughs> Mr. 4K Prophet. Well, and I was right about the Far Cry 6. Remember I said don't don't get your hopes too high. Far Cry 6 will get delayed. And guess what happened to Far Cry 6? It got delayed. It got delayed. Ah. And honestly, this is not I mean, I'm joking. Of course I'm not a prophet. I'm just joking. I'm not a modern prophet, nor would I want to be one. Jesus, man. I wouldn't have no privacy ever. People would follow me everywhere. They would camp next to my house, you know, praying to me and holding the, lighting up the, you know, the, the candles and everything. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want to be a messiah. I don't want to be a prophet. But I'm simply saying this is a logical, logical thinking. I'm looking at it from a logical perspective which way trajectory of technology it's evolving and to me this year the cloud technology has proven to me that it works it has proven to me that it can do what it needs to do by 2030 and also remember your internet will be much better by 2030 your cell phone will be much better your cell phone technology cellular technology will be much better elon musk already has the satellites the starlink they're already floating around they're floating around they already got everything set up what does that mean that means you can use the internet middle of nowhere with a starlink so technology it's evolving and i'm looking at this from a technological breakthrough evolution and the trajectory that it's taking from now till 2030 and this is inevitable i'm telling you enjoy your little plastic consoles enjoy it as much as you can but come 2029 2030 it's over it's a checkmate I hope I'm still alive. I hope that nothing happens to me by then. And I can tell you I told you so. Uh, hopefully. And probably if this video is still up, people will look at this video in a time capsule and they'll say, well, this guy was right. This guy was right. Not, beca not because he was a modern prophet, but because he used logical thinking. And he was able to calculate logically to look at the breakthrough of technology and the trajectory that it's taking 10 years from now. Oh, Elon Musk. The only problem with the Elon Musk, he needs to communicate better. Up here, he's great. Up here, up here, he's great. He's a genius up here. But when it comes to communicating, when it comes to talking, he's not that good at talking. He's like, like talks within himself. Um, we could do that, but uh, possible about, yeah, we could. He's not a great communicator. You know, he doesn't communicate well. But up here, I tell you, Elon Musk, you are the brain. You let me talk for you. I'll translate. How about that? You pay me. I translate for you. And you use your brain. And we work together. You are the brain. And I'm the mouth. And I'm talking for you. I'm translating for you. Let's do it.
I agree, Mamba. I mean, this is just in 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 inevitable. Uh, even, listen, I guarantee you, off the record, off the record, Phil Spencer would probably tell you, off the record, yes. He cannot say it publicly because he wants to sell the consoles. He wants people to buy consoles. But off the record, confidenti confidentiality, off the record, hell yeah, he'll tell you. Oh yeah, cloud, cloud is the future. Pfft, big time. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, it's, it's inevitable. It is what it is, you know. Oh, we're going to, what is this? Italy. We got another one. We opened another Ultra Cross Italy. Yeah. I'm going to try this. I haven't tried this. Hold on. I'll go with this. I'm having hiccups. Someone's thinking of me. Who could it be? Oh, it's Phil Spencer. <laughs> He's like, don't talk about the cloud gaming yet. I need to make money from X Series X. <laughs> yes, Mamba. Honestly, I think you're right. Uh, let's be honest. Um, and this is coming from a guy who has Stadia and I support Stadia. And, and I, I have no problem with Stadia, okay? But to be honest, to be honest, Stadia doesn't strike me as, as the company that's going to drive the cloud. You know what Stadia reminds me of? Steve Perlman. Stadia reminds me of Steve Perlman. You guys know who he is? 2009? 2010? 2011? A guy named Steve Perlman that created the first cloud, well, before GeForce, before PlayStation now, uh, created the very first cloud service, gaming service, cloud service. And uh, it was 720p. It was decent. Uh, it was like a Netflix, you click and play right away, uh, called the OnLive, OnLive service. Yeah, OnLive. I still have it, and I still have my Ouya. I got my Ouya. I have my, I have my Ouya. It's there. It's buried somewhere in a graveyard. <laughs> and my OnLive, with a controller OnLive, it's buried somewhere in the graveyard. I just got to go dig it up. <laughs> it's there. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> um, it reminds me of On Live. What did Steve Perlman say? Oh, he promised in 2010. Oh, you know, you're playing Crisis 2. You're playing Batman Arkham. You're playing all these games. Uh, this is the future. This is the future. And you know what? I bought into it. But he was right. Listen, he was right. He did not lie when he said that this will be the future. Okay? So Steve Perlman was right. I'll quote him on that. But Steve Perlman was a bad, bad businessman. He just wanted to make a quick cash and then run off to the sunset. And he sold the company for lousy $4 million. $4 million. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Where are you at, Steve Perlman? Where are you at with that Fort Million? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Stadia reminds me a hell of a lot like on live. Now, Luna, I got to wait and see what's going to happen to Luna. I hope that Amazon will select me by the end of this month. But I don't think... I'm that lucky. I don't think Amazon will select me to try Luna. I would really love to try Luna. I would love to do in-depth review on Luna. And you guys know I'm going to do a 100% review, in-depth review on Amazon Luna. You know I'm not going to leave any stone unturned, left unturned 
I'm going to check everything. I'm going to pick every stone, make sure that there's nothing underneath. I will check everything. But is Amazon going to select me? <sighs> Honestly, I don't think so. Uh, I haven't heard anything from them. I haven't gotten anything from them. I don't think they will select me, man. So, but we'll see. Others will be selected. Let's see what they do, what they say. Uh, I'm going to watch the videos and see what they say. <clears throat> but the bottom line is this. Google Stadia just needs... To, the problem with Stadia is they're just too slow. I think I said this, didn't I? How many times did I say Stadia is just too damn slow? It's too damn slow and people can't wait. The features takes a year for us to have the features that they promised to us, like streaming on a YouTube. How difficult is it for you, Stadia, to let us stream a damn game on a YouTube and for another friend to pick up where I left off? How difficult is it for you to do this? It's YouTube's a Google. Google's the YouTube. And you guys are having a difficult time implementing something that you talked about in 2019. This month, 2019, a year, a year ago. And we're still waiting for those features. We're still waiting for a, a simple feature. A goddamn simple fucking feature. Simple feature. Streaming on YouTube. And you got this new... Uh, Chromecast TV doesn't support Stadia. There's no Stadia app on this new Chromecast TV. What the fuck is going on? You're too slow, Stadia. You're too goddamn slow. Cannot communicate. I mean, cannot send a message. Cannot chat. No instant messenger on Stadia. And you're using a Linux? Amazon's using a Windows. Shouldn't be a problem. They're using Windows. And I guarantee you, you'll be able to have an instant messenger. Oh, man. You see, this is the problem, Phil Harrison. You guys are behind the curve. That's, it's not... Technology works. I want everybody to understand this, who, who's watching this. Cloud technology works on Stadia. There's no problem with that. I No one's going to say, oh, I have a problem with Google Stadia uh, latency. It works. It works. It's not that. It's the fact that they're so damn slow. Takes them forever to bring the games, to bring the features, and people are too tired of waiting when it can get the same stuff somewhere else for a cheaper price. And you only got yourself to blame, Google Stadia. You only got yourself to blame for this. You did this to yourself. You can't blame us. We tried to support you, and we did. I did. But what have you done? Nothing. You haven't listened to us. You just keep giving us these empty promises, 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 promises. And then what did you do? Nothing. Nothing happened. You got yourself to blame. You got yourself to blame only. Oh my God. AT&T and T-Mobile. Oh, you're talking about uh, monopoly, bro. Especially AT&T. It's like a huge monopoly. They make you sign a contract. If you break a contract, they're going to penalize you. Ugh. Anyway, let's 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 drive. I look like a zebra, dude. Like a colorful zebra.
you guys gotta remember um, uh, the cloud technology it's something that's gonna be utilized not just on a, on the on, a, on our Android devices on our phones on our televisions uh, it's something that's also gonna be uh, utilized ah, fuck. it's something that's gonna be utilized on the virtual reality headsets I think virtual reality headsets are going to benefit. They're definitely going to benefit from um, from cloud technology. You don't have to wait for any downloads. You don't have to wait for any updates. You just put on that lightweight VR headset and click and play and enjoy the application. Boom. Don't have to worry about a storage. Don't have to worry about none of that shit. You just click and play immediately. Boom. Boom. Put on the headset. Boom. Technology at instant. That's where we had it, guys. That's where we're going. I don't want to wait three hours, four freaking hours to download the damn game. And then I got to wait for the updates. Then I have to download the drivers. No. The hell with that. No, people don't want to fucking wait. They want stuff on instant click play right away click right away they don't want to fucking wait uh and that's where we're going that's why when i say 2030 that's what i mean cloud technology is the future it is what it is uh that's where it's going i know it's difficult for some of you to see that i know it's difficult change it's very difficult but don't worry you will adapt to it just like you did with the uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu you will adapt to it don't worry just like you adapt with uh, Spotify Apple music don't worry you're gonna adapt to it Can I make a first place here? I don't want to make a first place. Maybe I can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Mr. 4K. Mr. 4K! 4K! Have you guys tried uh, Oculus Quest Venuses? Pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool uh, social experience. Definitely should give it a try. Oh my god, no! I wanna be, I don't wanna be number four! I wanna be number one! Not number four. I think I can do this, man. I can make it a first place. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. First!
That's true too, Mamba. But let's talk about the negative. Uh, you heard me talk about the positive. Positive cloud technology. Positive, positive. Well, it's not all that positive. Sure, it has its positives. You don't have to wait for a download. You don't have to wait for uh, the updates. Uh, click and play, whatever you want, right away. So that's the biggest positive. Wherever you are, taking a shit in the toilet, whatever, click and play, whatever. It's all there for you. But let's talk about a negative. What is the one negative that, that's going to suck big time about 2030 cloud technology? Well... You are not going to own anything. You are pretty much just paying a subscription. And that's it. You don't own any games. You don't own any movies. You're just paying a subscription. That's all there is to it. That's what's going to suck about it. Big time. I don't know. Uh, so there won't be any collectors. You won't be able... I mean... I'm sure in, in a bootleg market, in a deep, dark bootleg market, you'll be able to buy some old shit somewhere for a high price uh, to, if you are a collector. Uh, but let's face it, it's all going to be cloud-based and uh, everything's going to be subscription-based. That's it. And you're going to be paying tons of subscriptions. PlayStation subscription, Xbox subscription, Nintendo subscription. Uh, who knows? Even Sega might might jump into it. Instead of creating a Dreamcast, they'll create their own server and have Sega subscription. Atari might do the same. I mean, it's going to be fucking crazy. Uh, it go, You see what I'm saying? Same thing with the movie studios. You know, movie studios will have their own subscriptions. You want to warn the brothers, you go warn the brothers, 20th Century Fox, Fox, Disney, Disney Plus, whatever. Uh, and that's where, you, where you're going to be. That's where we at. That's, that's the part that's going to suck in 2030. It's all going to be subscription-based. I, look, I don't listen. Mamba and everybody out there who's watching, I don't want people to think... And I know I'm already getting some nicknames out there. I heard those nicknames. Mr. Cloud Ambassador. Some people are calling me Mr. Cloud Ambassador. Like I'm an advocate for the cloud technology. I don't have to, listen, I don't have to advocate cloud technology. Cloud technology, it's evolving. I don't need to advocate. I don't have to do anything. It's going to evolve. I don't like it. I don't like it. I prefer my physical media. I need to do a video to show you how many physical media movies I have. From DVD, HD DVD, Blu-rays, 4K Blu-rays, 3D Blu-rays, VHS cassettes, CDs, LP records, etc., etc., etc. Video games, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, all of these games in physical media that I have. PC physical media games, all of that. Empire Strikes Back, I have this uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back uh, online game. I still have the big giant case. I got Metal Gear Solid 4 as well. I got Metal Gear Solid Trilogy, all of that. Uh, Peace Walker, I have it as well. I love physical media. I love physical media. No one is a bigger fan of physical media than this guy. Believe me. No one loves physical media more than me. At least I think. But... I can be honest. I can be honest about where we are going. At least I can be honest and say, this is it. This is where we're going. We are on this ship, and this ship, it's going that direction. 
And we're going to get there 10 years from now. At least I can be honest about that. That doesn't mean that I like it. That doesn't mean that I like everything on the cloud. No. I don't like it. But it is what it is. So, I don't want people to think that I'm some kind of a cloud ambassador, Mr. Cloud Ambassador. No, I'm not. I, I don't like all these subscriptions. Pay for Disney+, Plus, play for ESPN+, Plus, then pay for the pay-per-view to watch the UFC fight. Pay for this, pay for that. Pay for the Showtime, pay for the Cinemax. You want to watch The Warrior? Pay for the Cinemax. Oh, you want to watch this uh, other show? Pay for the HBO, 15 bucks. How much do I have to pay for Cinemax? Well, pay $12. Because you need to watch The, the Warrior. You will love The Warrior? You want to watch The Warrior? The TV show? Uh, Got to pay the Piper, 12 bucks. I hate this shit. I don't like it. It all, all, it all adds up. You know? And, and the exclusivity of the TV shows where they make you subscribe to a... To a premium network i don't like that either i don't like it because that adds up ten dollars here ten dollars there that's 20 15 here 15 there that's what 30 i don't like it you know but it is what it is they don't care how i feel just like netflix didn't care how i felt that I cannot go to my blockbuster to rent a damn movie. To walk into a store and go through the movies and find something. They didn't, didn't care how I felt. They didn't care. They're like, no. How about me renting a video game? Walking into a store and renting a video game. Nope. 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 Gotta do it digital, my friend. So it is what it is. Cloud, it's evolving. That's the technology. That's the future. That's this generations of millennials. Millennials want everything on the press of a button. They don't want to wait. And that's the way it's going to go. And that's all there is to it. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. People, don't un people understand this. I hope I'm wrong. But I know I'm not going to be wrong. Because you can't change the evolution of technology. That's how I know I'm not going to be wrong. Well, first of all, there won't be a PlayStation 6. The ultimate, the ultimate, uh, ultimate gaming uh, streamer. I don't think there will be a PlayStation Six. This is it. Number five is the last number. They might put a Slim or Pro on top of it with a next redefined console, an upgrade redefined console in 2024. But after that, 2028, 2029, it's over. It's a game over. There won't be PS Six. You're not gonna see it. Mark my words. Mark my words. There won't be a PlayStation 6. That that I can guarantee you. This is the last number. Number 5 is the last number. I can guarantee you that. 100%. So. Mistakes. Um, well. Remember. A couple of things. You got to remember something. And I'm glad... And I'm glad that, that you have mentioned this. Let's look at PlayStation 4. Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. A lot of people have criticized PlayStation 4 Pro. That uh, they didn't put the 4K Blu-ray player. They didn't put enough teraflops. And they said this is a down-powered console. It's not even capable of native 4K. You can only do a checkerboard 4K with some dynamic resolution. It's not even a real 4K. But guess what? It outsold more consoles than the Xbox One X, 
and the Xbox One X were more powerful. More powerful than the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. It's not so much about the power, guys. It's about how you use that power that you already have. And Mark Cerny and the engineers that worked from AMD on that console realized, hey, we don't necessarily need all this power. We can still do something else with the power that we have. And look what they did with the PlayStation 4 Pro. Look at the type of quality of games that they were able to pu put out. Look what they've done with the PlayStation VR. Xbox never created a VR headset. So I wouldn't say that they're going to have any mistakes. They're going to be successful. But uh, PS5 with an extra Acrement Pro or Slim redefined PlayStation 5 in 2024. Slimmer version. That's, that's about it. Number 5 is the last hardware console. You're not going to see number 6. Mark my words. PS6, you're not going to see it trust me what you're gonna see it's a playstation brand subscription for you to subscribe on your smart television on your 3d uh smart television uh without glasses you're gonna have those types of televisions uh running at like some ridiculous resolution uh, with 8k and that's what you're gonna have it's gonna be a just a subscription you subscribe and you play you want to play Xbox you subscribe and you play and those subscriptions are not going to be cheap they're going to be expensive keep an eye on that too and they'll have different tiers you want to get PlayStation tier 1 for $25 we'll get you this this and that you want to get tier 2 we'll get you this this and that or do you want to get tier 3? Tier 3 for $50 a month will get you the best of the best, the ultimate editions, uh, early access, etc., etc., etc. And that's where it's going, dude. I don't even need it. Listen, I don't even need a time machine. It would be nice if I had one, but I don't even need a time machine to see which way this is going it's as clear as a day so I don't I, I wouldn't say they made any mistakes uh, you know but again is it possible I could be wrong? Of course. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't want people watching this thinking that this guy has a crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's, what's going to happen tomorrow. I have no clue what could happen tomorrow. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I do have, it's a logical, a logical thinking. It's what I have. And I go based on logical thinking. Is there a possibility I could be wrong? Fucking A. That's why they call it a prediction. They don't call it a fact. It's a prediction. And I'm predicting. But I'm predicting with a plausible, plausible, logical uh, projection. That I'm projecting what could be in the future. And I don't think I'm wrong about this. I looked into this. I did some research. It's not just me putting these ideas out there and thinking about this. I also did some research. I've been reading Forbes. I've been going through a bunch of different uh, forums about the new tech, technology, the business, the stock market in which way the businesses the corporations like sony and microsoft are interested in investing in the long term in the future why do you think the ask yourself a question why did microsoft spend all that money building the azure servers close to 10 billion dollars azure servers why do you think they spend so much money into the servers 
And why do you think Sony is interested and it's making a partnership with Microsoft to learn about these servers and how they can also build it better for themselves? They're exchanging the information. I look at everything. I look at all of these things and I do my own research and then I give a logical, plausible prediction, projection. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be 100% right, but there's a pretty, pretty, pretty good chance that it could play out like this. And I have no doubt in my mind, looking at the, the way things are going through technology, there is no doubt in my mind that this is the way it's going to go. Just like I told you about James Cameron and the Philips camera, IMAX Philips camera with Dolby. Philips teamed up with Dolby. And I knew right away when Philips teamed up with a Dolby, I knew what they were going to do. They were looking to create a Dolby 3D trademark, Dolby 3D cameras. Dolby 3D is going to be the next, uh, next big thing for television and the Avatar 2 which is being filmed underwater for a variety of different reasons will have the very first movie in 2022 December the very first movie in Dolby 3D cinema what is the Dolby 3D cinema Dolby 3D cinema it's the very first technology where you don't have to wear 3D glasses you don't need 3d glasses you just turn on that tv you turn on that projector whatever you have that laser projector and boom you got 3d dolby cinema at very high resolution and i predicted this I, there's a video i talked about this in 2017 in 2017 there's a video i talked about this and guess what i was right they are working on it slowly but surely I use logical thinking and I do my research I don't just talk out of my ass I also do research when I talk about these things you know but they are predictions it's not a fact okay it's not a fact it's a prediction but it's a very plausible plausible prediction and there's a difference <clears throat> I think it's going to be, here's what you're looking at, honestly. Uh, you're just going to need a table, a table, just a table next to the wall, not too close to the wall, maybe five inches away from the wall, a little device like this. And you place this device, you put it right on that table, and magic, holographic magic in 3D will appear at 24K resolution. 24K resolution. You can expand that resolution to whatever ratio you want. 300 inch, 200 inch, 150 inch, whatever you fancy. And that's where, you, that's where we're going. You're not going to have any big giant panels carrying big panels, unboxing the big giant panels. Aliens from the future, they're laughing at us right now, looking at us opening these big giant fucking 75 inch televisions and you need three people to help you lift it up. That's, that's an ancient technology. You're going to be laughing at these uh, televisions and the OLEDs and all this other shit. You'll be laughing at that shit 10 years from now. You'll be laughing at all of this. Fucking laughing. Yeah, you'll be laughing. Oh, what a crap this shit was. Uh, this is it. Something like this. Just put it on the fucking table. Technology will do itself. We're going to go through quantum speeds. Quantum processing. Quantum processing will be able to process any kind of resolution, any kind of rendering, any kind of refresh rate. And it's going to look fucking amazing. 
true holographic imagery that will be projected onto your screen space. Like I said, six inches, seven inches, eight inches away from your wall, sitting on a, on a home theater desk, you put this device and it does the trick. I'm not from the future. Don't look at me kind of funny. I'm not from the future. But I'm telling you, that's where it's going. That's what you're going to be looking at, man. And self-driving cars going to happen. Why? It's, well, you don't need people. It's easier for companies not to pay people to drive Uber when they can just have self-driving cars. And these self-driving cars will know exactly where for you to go. That's it. And they will take you to that location where you need to go. That's going to happen. Self-driving cars. That's, that's going to happen. But there will be some problems with that too. Hackers will hack into these cars. Listen, with every technology, guys, with every technology, there's a positive and then there's a negative. Yes, every technology has its positive and has its negative. And that's what you're going to see with the self-driving cars. There's always going to be hackers. There's always going to be one. There's always going to be some around. They're always going to be there. And they're going to try to hack into the system. Uh, and they're going to try to take advantage of the self-driving cars. So they can rob people. Bring them to their location so they can rob them. Again, it's no technology is perfect. I'm not sitting here saying that, oh, self-driving cars, it's a great idea. It has some positives. But it also has some negatives. That's going to that's gonna be the issue. <laughs> like every new technology, guys. Nothing is perfect. Technology is not perfect. It has benefits, but also has negatives as well. Negative stuff that comes with it. <laughs> All of this stuff, it's going to happen. Starlink satellite internet it's already gonna happen it's already happening uh you'll be able to be middle of nowhere middle i mean really middle of nowhere in alberta let's say alberta north of edmonton north of edmonton northern alberta right northern alberta close to alaska uh, uh you know border canadian alaska u.s border somewhere middle of nowhere and you'll be able to use the internet middle of nowhere think about that think about that no more privacy you can run away they will find you they will find you and guess what else is coming guess what else is coming drones security drones police drones they will scan the society they will scan people uh they will scan their eyes and they will know exactly who you are based on your uh, your your eyes uh, all the data systems will be scanned by the eyes you're not gonna carry your wallet you don't need anything all your information it's stored on your eyes database will be stored your credit card information your banking accounts everything will be there uh, and these drones will always scan you and follow you wherever you go and if you try to commit something try to commit a crime uh, they will alert the the authorities and you will be arrested uh, that's where we're going so i don't know i mean that's the future guys so are you ready <laughs> are you ready for the future i don't know are you i don't know if i'm ready man honestly man i don't think i have energy i don't think i have i don't know man i, I just don't don't have that same energy man <sighs> but like every technology like every technology there's going to be positives and there's going to be negatives. Nothing is perfect. This is the important part. I want people to understand. It's never going to be perfect. There's always going to be the downside to every new tech. Oh yeah, it's good. I mean, it's already rest in peace. Uh, honestly, LBJ, it's already rest in peace. It's just a matter of time. Ten years from now, you can kiss the privacy. I mean, you can already kiss it goodbye. But in 2030, 2031, don't think too hard about it. 
Uh, no one's going to bullshit anybody. Everyone's going to tell the truth. Maybe something good will come out of it because no one will be able to bullshit because uh, everybody already knows. They will know who you are, what you do, what you do for a living, who you, you, who you are dating, uh, who your parents are, who your sister is, who your friends are, who you associated with, what time you take a shit, what time you take a piss. Uh, so pretty much uh, pff, there won't be point of lying. No one's going to lie. Everyone's going to tell the truth. <laughs> That's where it's going. Oh, I got a new sponsor. AM Codemasters. All right. I'll I'll take Codemasters. Cool. AMD is going to be my sponsor. Yeah, I mean, like I said, all of this technology will have some positive effect. We will be able to stop criminals before they commit the crime. We'll be able to stop bad people from committing bad acts. There's going to be some positive on this, of course. But the trade-off, the trade-off is your privacy. So... And I think people are willing to give up their privacy for security because people want to live. Nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to get hurt. Uh, and in exchange for this technology that can keep us safe from bad, bad people, maniacs and lunatics, um, we have to trade it off with privacy. We have to just say, hey, if people are going to see my dick, if people are going to see my hairy ass, so fucking be it. I don't care. <laughs> so fucking be it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll just have to, you know, we'll have to accept that. <laughs> uh, but that's where it's going. That's honestly, that's honestly where it's going. Can I purchase this car? I don't have enough money. That's okay. We're going to a forest in China. 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 <laughs> Thank you, devil devilish, devilish hooter. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, the graphics are nice over here. Oh, this looks nice. The bamboo. Bamboo trees look nice. Uh, could the uh, remote play in the Xbox be portable in the future? Yeah, that's possible. But that's up to Phil Spencer. That's up to the uh, him to decide if he wants to do that. But I don't see the reason why he wouldn't do that. Um, but yeah, that's that's possible, sure. But then again, the Phil Spencer head of Xbox will have to make that final decision on that. But I don't see the reason why he wouldn't do it, honestly. Because he's all about playing the games, taking the Xbox experience with you, playing it anywhere you want to play it. We don't want to force you to buy Xbox Series X. We just want you to be able to enjoy our brand anywhere and everywhere i think that's his whole idea he wants you to enjoy his brand everywhere you go so i think he'll do that um and it's also the same reason why he's gonna jump into a cloud 
technology because he's he's all about uh, letting you take that experience with you wherever you go. That's what he said. I mean, that was that's his whole uh, plan. That's his goal is to let you experience his brand everywhere, everywhere you go. And for the most part, I think he's accomplishing that slowly but surely. Um, Oh my god. Uh, that's okay. He probably was. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm sure they will. Um, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. Because... Um, they want to benefit from the same advantages that the Xbox is benefiting. You gotta remember, uh, they're already doing a remote play. PlayStation's been playing around remote play with a PlayStation Vita. Uh, and PlayStation 4. Uh, so, even with PlayStation 3, they've been experimenting with PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 3 remote play. Uh, so, Sony has always been interested in remote play. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to evolve on that. Pretty sure they will. I really like the handling of um, of the cars in uh, in Dirt Five. It's very responsive and accurate, honestly. And I'll definitely give them kudos for the mechanics of this game. And you got to try this out for yourself. Uh, it feels so good controlling the cars honestly and every car feels different has a different weight to it there's a different balance to it and I like it come on come on come on When can we do big screen VR? I don't know. Honestly, uh, I've been kind of busy lately. I've been doing other things. Um, I'll let you know, Mamba, on the Twitter. Um, I think you follow me on the Twitter, right? We, we are on the Twitter, I guess. Fifth place, okay, it's not bad. Yeah, they do have a great physics. But it feels like very uh, fluid. Especially the cars, there's a certain weight to it. Like this car feels, feels lighter, 
Then that other bigger car feels more heavier. And every car has a different weight to it. And it feels different. But at the same time, it's very responsive. The, the controls are very responsive. And I got to tell you, uh, I like that about this game. That, that they really have put the effort to make it run smooth. Okay. I'll probably contact you through Twitter. Uh, you should also join uh, the Early Access uh, Early Access Venuses. Uh, I've been going there too as well, talking to some people. Pretty cool experience. I also been using a side quest. Side quest has a tons of games, tons of uh, uh, applications for you to try, but. Venus is it's pretty cool. I like it. I've been checking it out. Uh, it feels like a like a Disney theme park social experience. It's like you meeting people in like a Disney ride or something. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. I, I I really didn't think it was gonna be that good, but when you try Venus's. It's really it's really awesome dude. Honestly. People are very nice because everybody has to use their real name. People cannot go in there with the fake names. Uh, you know. And you got to be careful uh, on you cannot troll people, you cannot be harassing people, so it's a uh, such a nice breath of fresh air, you know, to be able to socialize with normal people you know where you don't have to deal with trolls and idiots uh and it was a very pleasant experience i had with uh venus's vr on oculus quest too i maybe i'll do a live stream one day and show you how it is uh but i had a lot of fun i don't know if i can do a live stream I don't think I can do a live stream because I cannot live stream other people's real names. I cannot do it. So, yeah, I cannot do it. Sorry. <clears throat> but uh, it's fun, you know. I, I enjoyed it. All right, guys. Well, it, I think it's time for me to call it quits. How long I've been streaming for Welcome crying out loud? Uh, six me, hours, James seven Lee, hours. Oh always, my I'm god! By my handsome co-host Nolan Sykes. Thank you. I'm flattered. It seven is hours. Weekend, Jesus. People, toot, toot. We got Jamie Chadwick on the line, coming all the way from Nevada. W Series champion, everybody. No need for an intro. Jamie, what is going on in the land of dice and desert lizards? Hey, James, how are you? Yeah, I'm in Nevada. It's super cool here. It's uh, obviously a little bit noisy, but it's a big race coming up this weekend, and honestly, I can't wait. Yeah, it sounds super noisy out there. Are you racing? No, no, sadly not. It's a rare weekend off for me, but yeah, I'm here supporting AJ, actually. I've heard he's going to be out practicing soon, so I might go try to sneak a little look at my cap. Oh, AJ, close personal friend of the show yeah. and myself. He came to my wedding. Don't mean to brag. <laughs> Uh, so you're a big fan as well? Oh, massive fan. Uh, guilty as charged there. I think he's so exciting to watch. He's, yeah, really one of the crowd's favorites. I also love how he's bringing up younger racers as well. It's so cool to see and, yeah, obviously a big fan. So, Jamie, you're known for your open wheel racing career. Uh, what is it about the dirt that uh, attracts you to the sport? I think what I love is the unpredictable nature. You know, you're always racing on different surfaces. Everything's changing. There's such cool features. There's jumps. For us, I don't want to say it's boring, but it's very, very sort of monotonous. It's always the same, whereas I love the fact it's always changing for you guys in dirt. And, yeah, it's so cool to see it make the racing that bit more exciting. Speaking of unpredictable, AJ is known for a slightly unpredictable, some might even say... Yes, uh, LBJ. I'll be uh, streaming tomorrow, yes. Well, he calculates it and he 
gets away with it and it's cool to see him go for gaps that I don't think exist but he makes it happen and yeah it's why he's brought in the big crowds this weekend so you think he's going to do pretty well this weekend then uh, it goes without saying for me um, I'm obviously in Nevada I think if I was to put my money on anyone it's on AJ and yeah fingers crossed he can have a good race um, now moving on to the other side of the coin a guy on the top of everyone's mind this is cool they have a podcast about other races and you that's kind of cool man gloves i think you should run for office because <laughs> <laughs> you're very good at not answering questions <laughs> all right we won't disparage you too much uh jamie chadwick thank you so much for calling in on the show uh have a lovely weekend off in nevada don't lose all your money Cheers. thanks guys big fan of the podcast as well thank you so much jamie chadwick everybody we're gonna take care of some sponsorship stuff and we will be right back that's pretty cool man that they have a podcast, so while you're racing, uh, there's also a podcast. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Uh, in this game, there's also uh, multiplayer. You can race against other people. Obviously, there's a multiplayer aspect of it in here as well. Um, and uh, Dirt 5, it's a different type of a dirt game. It's not your simulator dirt rally that you remember. Uh, it's a different type of a dirt game. And uh, I like it, though. It's quite nice. Um, it's fun. It has a multiplayer. Uh, it has many different venues. Uh, the time changes every single time you're driving. You never know how it's going to play out. Is it going to be a night, day, morning? thunderstorm heavy rain heavy snow blizzard you don't know what type of uh environments and and the weather you're gonna expect to see so it's a very neat game but i also understand that it's not for everyone some people obviously they don't like the whole arcade style of playing some people they appreciate the simulator that's fine but i appreciate the physics about this game not the mechanics, but the physics, because every car feels different. Every car feels different, and I like that. It has a different weight to it, depending on what kind of car you're driving. Also, the controls are very responsive, man. Let me tell you, the controls in this game are super responsive. They're very accurate, and uh, you will have no problems uh trying to escape that corner slide on that corner and drive away uh, very accurately you've seen I won first place second place third place fifth place sixth place one time I was ninth but then I climbed back to the fifth sixth and the first and second the third and fourth again of a place so I like it I like it but then again just because I like something doesn't mean you're gonna like so take it for what it is. <laughs> but I think you should give it a try. At least you should give it a try if you can. Or you can watch my streams. You can watch my videos. I might do a little bit of this again tomorrow if you guys want me to. Uh, maybe a multiplayer. But uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a fun game. I think it's worth it. I think. Oh, that would be awesome. I think it will be it's going to be difficult it's going to be difficult for any video game to to use Joe Rogan podcast because Joe Rogan now it's part of a contract deal with Spotify and whenever you have a contract deal with another company like for example Spotify it's going to be difficult for Joe Rogan to I mean the only way he could do it it's by the supervision of Spotify, like Spotify would have to make a deal with a certain game company and then that's how it would work. Yeah, don't forget, he's part of Spotify. 
How do you think he was able to afford that $11 million house that he bought in Austin, Texas? It's a big mansion he has, huge mansion. Uh, all that money from Spotify, you know? <laughs> hey, look, man, he works hard. He earned it. I have nothing against people who work hard. They earn it. Uh, you know, my problem is those assholes who inherit the money and they never worked hard. They never put the effort, you know, the guys who were born with a golden spoon and, and they inherit the money, right? Uh, those are the ones that I have a problem with. But if you work hard and you make your money and, hey, it's awesome, dude. I have no problem with that. That's what this country is about. It's the, the American dream, the capitalism. You know, if you make it, you make it. But having said that, there's always that gap that I think it's too much of that gap between very wealthy and, and poor. And we, we have got a big gap, man, between wealthy and poor in this country. And uh, minimum wage needs to be wa uh, minimum wage a uh, minimum wage needs to be at least fifteen to sixteen. I would put minimum wage to eighteen dollars an hour to start you off at eighteen dollars, and then bump you up to twenty later on. That's what I would do. Uh, if you truly want some uh, economical growth, that's the way you do it. But I don't hear anybody talking about that. For me, neither of the of red and blue, Pepsi and Coca Cola. From either of the side side of the aisle, no one talks about that. Uh, you know, no one talks about the minimum wage. I don't hear anybody talking about that. They all talk about COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen, the wind of God. <laughs> That's all they talk about. It's COVID nineteen. Everything's a COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen in your closet. COVID nineteen in your headphones. COVID nineteen in your phones. COVID nineteen in your microphone. COVID nineteen. Fuck, tired of COVID-19. Lick my balls. COVID nah, don't lick my balls, COVID-19. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I gotta go. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>